ladies and gentlemen, we are starting in six, no, even earlier, in seven minutes, seven minutes. Okay, countdown for TV. That means we start in five minutes with shooting. So clear the premises. Ladies and gentlemen that are following the watch here, welcome. Okay, good evening everyone. This is uh, your friendly co-host for the afternoon, Michael Wilk from Denmark. And on my left side is Brian Peterson from Sweden. And we will be your commentators for this afternoon for the team events. Yes, the mixed team event events. Yeah, the team mixed events. Mm, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. And we'll be starting with Mongbo mixed team. Yes, that's going to be quite interesting. This is actually the first time we're having um, uh, a mixed team event officially at uh, any uh, large uh, World Archery Championship. Yeah, it's, it's quite new. No, it was tested in France, I believe, unofficially. Okay. Um, just to see how it how it went, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but now it's first time officially, so that's that's quite exciting news. Yeah, it is. And we'll be starting with uh, the bronze match between. Spain and France. Yeah. They're actually quite big countries when it comes to traditional shooters. Uh, 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 long uh, they are indeed uh, big countries in terms of uh, uh, traditional archery. Yeah. Um, we are waiting for uh, for the ceremony to begin here. Yeah. Um, but maybe we should uh, talk a little about the way that the um, uh, event is going down. Yeah. Uh, would you like to explain a little? I will. I just had someone screaming in my ear. But uh, um, of course, uh, 3D archery is uh, is shooting at um, well, some of them life-size animals made of foam. Um, the event will be like this: that uh, the the ranges towards the animals are unknown. And when they walk towards the the target, the judge will put down uh, a small stick, and that's where the teams will be shooting from. That's right. Um, and in the uh, mixed team events here, one both teams will be shooting at the same time. I believe it's a bit new for everyone here. Yeah, so it is. Yeah, both it is. teams will be shooting at the same time. Yes, one archer yeah. from each yeah. nation. Yes, and they can they can choose which one will shoot. With on target number one, the team of France, represented by Daniel Ramos and Robin Carter. On the second target, the team of Spain, Encarna, Carrico, Lazaro, and Guillermo Gratin, Carlos Alvarez. Both, both the teams from Spain and France are very experienced shooters. They've been they've been doing this for a long time, but never as a mixed uh, female men team. No, that's that's true. Uh, and now we have the bronze medal match. Yeah. Is what we're starting with longbow mixed team, and that goes between uh, Spain and France. Yeah. And from Spain, we have Encarna, Garrido Lazaro, and uh, Valentin Fernandez Alvarez. And from France, we have Daniel Ramos and Robin Gardo. 
very experienced uh, archers, all of them indeed. Um, and right now the judge is just um, explaining what to do, and then um, they'll go forward towards the first animal, which is foxes. It's uh, foxes, yes. Yeah, it's very small, very small target. It's a very small target. Um, now the the teams have to start uh, guessing the distance to the target. Yeah. France is starting the shoot here. Yeah, she. Uh, yeah, Daniel Ramos She's is starting at the peg and at draw now. And uh, it's an eight. eight. Oh. Yes. Yeah. And now France. Is shooting yeah. again. Robin Goddard. Robin Goddard. A quick draw. And, and it's a, a ten, ten, maybe eleven. Maybe eleven. Yeah. Maybe 11. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. yeah, difficult to see. Uh, but at least a ten. So it's a good score. Yeah, Solid it is. score from very France. Very we have Spain female Dashi mm. coming up ah, now. She's very experienced. She's very counter. strong. Quite long draw. It's uh, an it's eight, eight, I would yeah. say. Right it's on, on the line, line, but it's an eight. Yeah, yeah. And actually, Encarna has been somewhat of a TV star in Spain as well. She oh, really? Yeah, she Didn't. was. Uh, um, well, I don't know what the event was, but she was uh, showing off her skills with the bow. And that uh, is eight probably eight an eight, too. Line. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it looks like both lines. Eh? It's pending judgment. Now, on um, the medal matches here, the archers themselves cannot go forward to uh, uh, to the animals to uh, help with scoring, which is what we do under the uh, qualifying yeah. um, days. It's only judges yeah. uh, and officials yeah. at the animals now. That's probably because they could they could be well. Getting getting a better view on on the distances. Uh that is probably the fact. Yeah. You will also see here that the archers have kind of a, a small peg with a, a picture uh, in right in front of them. Now that's a picture of the actual animal that they are going to shoot at. Yeah. And they can tell from the picture where the score zone is. Mm. Yeah. Uh, when they get forward, um, it's not always you can see with the naked eye where the score zones are, so the archers will often use their uh, binoculars to yeah, sure. sort of identify exactly where the 11 oh, ring is. Yes. And um, uh, yes. then they will guess the distance and uh, decide how to shoot. Yeah. Yeah. It's also notable now that the teams can switch places, uh, I mean, take the Spanish team as an example, uh, the female shooter can shoot first in one uh, end and in the next end they can switch positions so the male archer okay. is shooting first. Okay. That's a new one. Uh, yeah. That is uh, up to the team. Yeah. Now they're approaching the second target, like which uh, is the uh, Ibex. Yeah. <coughs> a bit of a longer range target. Yes, larger animal, but longer range. Mm. And uh, Spain go. will be going first, and Kana. Using a very traditional long bow. Eh? It is uh, a bit heavy in, in the stock. And that is an... Oh, I think it's a miss. Yeah. I could not see the arrow in the no, animal. No, me neither. It was... That is a shame. Yeah, it was a miss. Eight. 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 So we are not having a picture here. No, yes, we are. It's an yeah, eight. Yeah, it's an eight. So Spain is on eight points on the IMAX. And we have uh, Francis yeah, yeah, Ramos from France gauging the distance now. <laughs> She's a very experienced lady and extremely archer experienced well. archer yeah. Uh, yeah. with uh, several uh, international uh, championship yeah. events yeah. On yeah. in her bag. Yeah. And oh it's a five. a five. Uh, this is a five. Uh, and they no, were they Robin were is uh, yeah, they were just talking drawing. about the distance uh, towards the two arches. 
so that he can get a better picture of it. Trying to get his nerves calmed down a little. And, and it's an eight. eight. So that's a good shooting and puts Three. France uh, quite comfortably in the lead. Yeah. But a lot of things can happen. Yeah, um, yeah it can quickly turn around. It can quickly turn around. Yeah. And although it's only four targets, uh, each team have two arrows, uh, which makes it a bit more different than the individual matches where you only have one arrow yeah. per target. And uh, you really cannot afford to make big mistakes no, on individual arrow, matches. No, 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 no. Uh, you can make a mistake here and, and turn it around, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you know, it's... Uh, a miss can change quite a lot mm. in the middle of a, of a medal uh, match. Now, due to the uh, COVID pandemic uh, worldwide, uh, there is not much audience here. But you can see uh, uh, the rest of the archers, uh, uh, some still in competition, some uh, out uh, of competition. But uh, they you, are can, still you can see a Spanish flag in, in the background. Spanish there flags there. The that is Augustin, I believe. And uh, you see several. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, he's uh, he's arches. running behind them. Yeah. Guillermo there, <laughs> Augustin running around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's cheering for that team. That's he's, good. He's That's the way it should be. He's he's very he's very quickly noticed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so France is leading with 31 points against Spain's 24. And. The archers are now looking at uh, the post where the picture of the animal is, so that they can see the score zones before they approach where they're going to shoot from. Yes. Now we haven't talked about the time limit. Um, yeah, it's 90 seconds, isn't it? I believe so. 90 seconds for yeah. uh, the team, each team, to shoot yeah. their two arrows. Yeah. So, do you think that they need to, to practice before uh, the matches uh, with the time limit? Uh? It's a little bit independent, I would say. Um, I actually witnessed uh, a little bit of a rehearsal yesterday. Uh, and uh, yes, some teams will, will uh, uh, rehearse it. Yeah. Some teams probably have done regular team matches before. Yeah. Uh, and don't feel they, they need rehearsal. You can see the blue pegs here where they have to stand within one meter behind or to the side of it. Yeah. Spain so is starting to shoot here. Yeah, and Khan is shooting at a, it looks like a puma. Five. Five. It's, a five. It's, a five. Yeah, it's a five, and it's uh, it's a cougar, yes. So, you just sit here and yeah. So, Fernandez Alvarez for Spain, taking a deep, br a deep breath there. That's it. And that's, that's a very a good, it looks like an 11, that 10 or 11. That's a solid arrow, yeah. That's very, very strong shooting. Yes, it is. You notice the French archer, her, her cap is just, well, yeah. it's, it's uh, pins all she over She is her famous cap. for having pins all over her hat. Okay, uh, okay, she, so it's um, sort of an image. She collects them. It's okay. a bit of a... It's a bit of a big thing for uh, archers at World Championships right. to change pins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, most countries will have a new version of uh, their national pins. Here. Oh. And it's uh, a five. Well, it's a high five, yeah. It's a five for France. And Godot is walking up to the peg and yeah. uh, adjusting his cap so it doesn't touch the string in yeah. full draw. That's and solid, that's yeah. a... Wow, that's 10 or 11, I cannot see it from here. It's, no, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's deemed an 8. It's just an 8. Okay, sorry, I calculated the wrong ring. <laughs> yeah, well, I, th I think, I think the, um, the angle of the arrow the coming the arrow made up cheated, yeah. yes. Yeah. So that's uh, a total of 44 to France versus 39 to Spain. Yeah. Uh, but again, uh, in a mixed match, that is not uh, something that cannot change in the on the last target. No, it's five points. It's five yeah. points is basically yeah. nothing. nothing. So uh, a miss from from the team that's yeah. in front is enough. Yeah. One more target, and that is going to be coyotes, I think. Yeah. They look quite small. I'm not sure their life size, but. Uh, Maybe you, maybe you're you're better at that than me. You're you're the hunter, right? Yeah, uh, it, it they are coyotes, I would say, or jackals. I'm not 
quite short. But no. <laughs> I have to look at the oh, they look uh, quite on the list of the uh, SRT animals. Uh, but um, they look quite small. It looks like a coyote. Yeah. But a very visible. It's a, it's a pretty small target. I cannot really see how far away the peg. They no, haven't put they out the peg yet. I think. But um, it's, a, it's a small animal. Animal, but but. Uh, very it's it's very an it's it's a medium sized animal. Yes. yes. Uh, and uh, it's not that easy to hit. No, but the score uh, the score zone seems to be uh, very visible. So yeah. Yes, that's a huge advantage. Uh, interestingly, I think they are going to be shooting it a little little bit of an angle. Yes. Uh, from the side. Not very far, but but with an angle, it's it's it, it's mm, a it bit of a sloping. It makes the score zone somewhat smaller as, as soon as you add angles sure, to it. Sure. Sure. So um, this is going to be Three. very interesting to see. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And and Carla from Spain, Spain is starts very, again. Very uh, well. She's very concentrated. You can look at her her face expression. She's taking a deep breath, concentrating. Very aggressive Quick. draw. Yes, aggressive uh, draw. And quickly. it's a miss. <laughs> it's a miss. It's a miss. Very. That's a shame. And look um, at look at Gardeau in the background. They use just. They are trying to calm trying their to nerves calm down, and yeah. Um, yeah. be cool about it. Yeah. And so that eight. is an eight. Yeah, that's an eight. Yeah. Good shot. So, Daniela Lamos, she can actually shoot it for the, sw the French now. Yeah. She is a, a very, very good uh, archer. Yeah. And she just had to hit the target for, for them to win the bronze. And it's right. a hit. And that's a it's a for France, yeah. yeah. Five, but it's that five, is enough. Yeah. And Gadur can, can the last finish arrow. it off with a nice uh, arrow. And he does oh. with an And eight. he does a good eight. So <laughs> that is the bronze goes to France. Congratulations. Yeah, Very well yeah, done. Yeah, well, well done. Well done, France. There's, there's just no mistaking the joy here. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're just, well, over the moon, eh? All of these archers are extremely uh, experienced and, and have done this many times before. So yes, and Not yes. exactly mixed team like we talked about before. That's a whole new uh, branch. But no, but individually they've won Individually several they have uh, yeah. they've done a lot. Yeah. But still, happy, happy. Uh, well done, France. We can talk a little about, bit about um, where we are right now. We are in, in Maribor Pohorja, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, in Slovenia. It is an absolutely beautiful yeah, place. Yeah, it's a gem. Uh, we're basically on top of a, of a mountain. This is... Um, Quite a well-known um, place if you're interested in uh, uh, in uh, alpine skiing because yeah, you will see a lot of uh, skiing events coming from here yeah, internationally. That's true. That's true. World it's Cup events and stuff like yeah, that. That's true. Uh, this is the place we're shooting in, and it is absolutely beautiful surroundings. Yeah, it is, and it's actually in almost 1,100 meters uh, b uh, over the, the surface. Of yes, we are 1,040 meters uh, above sea level, or about 3,000 feet. Yeah. And now we have um, the for the gold match. Yeah, we have uh, from Austria, we have uh, Franz Haag and Beate Schoenberger, and from Italy, Paolo Zaghetti and Giuliano Faletti. Interestingly enough, the uh, Beate Schoenberger has only been shooting. Uh, sorry. Uh, the uh, the official speaker here yeah, was talking. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't hear anything at all. In, in, interestingly enough, that uh, Beate Schoenberger has only 
shot the longbow for one year and she's already doing the events like this. That is, is that amazing. a fact? I did not know that. Well, uh, that is very, very interesting. Yeah, I was talking to the Austrians uh, when they were doing the, uh, the semi-finals, they said that, yeah? That is impressive, it indeed. Is. It is. Um, they are now approaching the foxes. Um, yeah. You'll see the pegs have probably been moved somewhat. It looks to be very, very close. Very target. close now. Um, yeah, very close target. The Austrians oh. will shoot first, yeah. and the time is on now. And we have Franz Haag as, uh, as the first shooter, and Beate is just behind him. Franz Haag is a very experienced uh, archer. Oh. Very experienced archer. Yeah. Very fast shot, and, and it's an, an eight. eight. That's a good oh. shot on that small target with it a longbow. It is. And actually, even though it's not that far, it's a very difficult target, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Um, for those of you not familiar with uh, how the scoring zones in 3D archery, um, we'll just see how. Oh, look at the style. We're doing that's ah, a beautiful ah, style. Ah, and beautiful. it's a uh, 10, ah, possibly 11. Yes. You oh. can see the scoring zones here. The inner ring yields 11 points. The next ring yields 10 points. Uh, then we have um, a scoring zone that yields, yields 8 points. And one that yields five is a hit on the animal anywhere. Italy. And, and you can see when there's an asterisk abo uh, above Yeah, the that means the it might be upgraded. Yes. Italy shot an eight. And we have... Uh, and it's an eight, too. Good shots. Yeah. Yeah, that's solid shooting. That's solid it? shooting. Yeah. If I just finish off the scoring zones on the animals, uh, a hit anywhere on the animals except in hoofs or horns uh, will yield a five point. Yes. So we have five, eight, ten, and eleven points, or a miss, zero points. Uh, also, a hit in the foundation of the animal, something that's not really the animal. Uh, but just part of the construction, so to speak, yep. uh, like a rocket sitting on or something like that, that is not a scoring uh, No, that's a error. miss. That's a miss. Yeah. yeah. And if you could see at the score zones on this animal, there's not, not that much I difference not, between no. the 11 and you 10. You saw the foxes here also, interestingly, have a score zone on the back, but that's not uh, valid for, for uh, this particular uh, occasion. It's only the scoring zone on the side that will give points. Yes. The scoring zone on the back will y give five points regardless where the arrow sits there. So that puts Austria in the lead with 19 points uh, versus Italy's 16. Yeah. But as we were talking about, it's nothing with three points in 3D archery. Uh, three points is nothing. Nothing in, in a mixed, uh, uh, mixed team event. Absolutely not. And uh, you can see that behind the arches, there are people walking with bows as well. And that's that is true. Uh, each uh, team can have a coach along. Uh, and you see that the Italian coach there are carrying uh, the arches spare bows. Yeah. In uh, a match situation like this, uh, even if the arches bow breaks, uh, you do not get any extra time. The only thing you can do is throw that bow away and uh, get the spare bow from the coach. My goodness. There is no uh, excuse. If no. if uh, don't have a spare bow along, then, well, your scoring doesn't <laughs> Okay. So, uh, 11. Out. 11. 11. Outstanding. Yeah. And we are now shooting, we cannot see, really see it on screen, but we're now shooting at the Ibex. Yes. Yeah, we five. have no clear picture Italy. of it. And it's a 5. 11, 5 for Italy. Yeah. Yes, 11, 5. We have a uh, picture now. We have a picture now, okay. And um, Austria is coming back in. Yeah, the Franz Haag is. Oh, he's. Eight. That's an he eight. Has, he has a very instinctive uh, way of shooting. Very, very, very instinctive, very fast way of shooting. Snap shooting almost, right? That's snap shooting, yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, he will release the arrow almost at the very instant he comes to anchor. Yeah. Um, and you can probably it's see it's a lot of difference between Franz Haag and his. You will uh, see a lot of different styles here. Yeah. You will see uh, Beate here. Is it Beate? 
slow, but still a pretty fast eight. shot. That's an eight. That's oh. strong shooting. Yeah, it is. It is. Strong shooting. <laughs> and that uh, still leaves Austria three points in the lead. Yeah, no change. Nothing changed. We don't see that many slow shooters. Uh, Franz Haag is, is one of the few I've seen. Yes, it was a... Um, I think I before it was a, a more common shooting style. You okay. don't see them as much now. Um, I think we'll get the opportunity to talk a little bit more about that in the next class, which yeah, is the instinctive class. Yeah. Um, but uh, um, no, even for longbow, have longbow archer are not really the ones known for holding the arrow at full draw for a very long time. But but. Real snap shooting and is for not that common. For Austria yeah. and 32 for Italy. That means that Italy no, they're will different start styles. They're very distinctive. Well, Franz Haag is one of the more distinctive ones because he's really, really fast. Yeah. Yeah, and he's uh, he's he has a very aggressive uh, style because his his bow arm is is pointing downwards very quickly after yeah. releasing yeah. the arrow. In some instances, that might be uh, a help, and particularly under stress situations, if uh, you can handle it. But you also have to rely a lot uh, on your feelings, sure, uh, yeah, and your gut feeling, basically. Well. And that gut feeling has, is, at least for me, it would be very prone to change with uh, the anxiety that comes of from course, that shooting. Of course, of course. So um, being uh, in a situation like this, where uh, where you're in the final, you don't, you don't. Well, no. probably don't trust you. Well, now see uh, Faletti shooting at the Puma, the Cougar. That was a lot longer draw. Uh, we have no picture of it. We don't have a picture. I think it might have been a miss. It's a miss. Uh, Sachetti uh, on the line, focusing. And it's, it's a five. five. Okay. It's a five. Okay. But that was. Here that you, was you see uh, the Austrian archer using uh, the binoculars. Yeah. Uh, just to determine where the score zone is, puts it back on the hook yeah. and the belt. Yeah. It's, it's a fair bit of distance to, to the cougar here. It's quite long, yes. My goodness, he's shooting. He's so fast <laughs> shooting. <laughs> My goodness, he's But he hits good. the animal. Yeah, it is. It's oh. hit. You really have to focus to, uh, to, well, to see when he shoots it because he's so. This fast. is what we uh, expect Robin Hood to shoot like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is what we expect Robin Hood to shoot like. Really, really fast and just yeah, yeah, yeah. letting your instincts guide it. My goodness! Yeah, good. And that was a ten. Extremely yes. good shot. Very good shot. So that means Austria is in the lead with fifty. Uh, versus Italy 37 before the final target. Uh, that might be a bit difficult to um, yes. Yes. catch up to. Yes. Austria can, Austria can sort of shoot for safety on this and still, uh, still maintain the goal. Though. Yes, um, well basically Austria has to have one animal uh, one arrow in the animal now, then they're up to 55 points. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not enough. They need a little more. They need a little more. Yeah. Two hits and uh, yeah, the goal is there. And again, the last animal is the, the jackals. Yeah. It's uh, going Coyote. to be the, the ja coyotes. Yeah. yeah. These Italy will start to shoot first on the last target. There is a difference of. 13 points at this moment. Both Italy and, and uh, Austria are very big nations uh, in, in archery. Yes. And Almost whatever uh, class we're talking about, longbow, instinctive, uh, bare bow or compound, uh, they are very, very strong archers. Yeah, yeah. And Austria and Italy are also known to have many 3D courses that... Uh, that they have uh, extremely that. many uh, tricky uh, 3D courses. I know for a fact that uh, some parts of the Danish team was down practicing in I Austria know this summer. Well, yes, yeah. that's true, that's true. If I let it shooting, it and shooting a five. it's a five, I think, yes, it's yeah. a five. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, 
that means that Sassetti has to shoot at least an 8 uh, in order to stay in the match and then hope for Austria to lose both and errors. Five. That's a five. And it's a 5, so Austria has already taken seven. the gold here. Ah, oh, that is Robin Hood. Uh, that is Robin Hood, and it's an eight. <laughs> it's a good shot. Austria eight, and also Yeah, Beatrice, she's smiling. She knows it's. Uh, it's all she's it's smiling. Already, she knows it's yeah, all it's over. She just wants yeah. to make a good arrow now yeah. and and uh, to finish off and with the class. Uh, just just look at the style there. Yeah. Yeah. And wow. it's a 10. What a way to finish wow, that. Wow, wow, wow. What a way to finish that end. Congratulations Austria. That was that was well done. Yes, congratulations to Franz Hag and Beate Schulberger. Very good shooting. And of course, the same goes to Italy. They've uh, they've done well to get. To they've the done very well to get this far. Yeah. Uh, we should remember that in mixed team events this year, only the four best teams um, uh, proceed to uh, semi-final and final. There are no uh, shoot-offs between teams. No. Before that, it's the qualifying, the uh, first two qualifying days, individual qualifying days, that uh, make up. Uh, and decide which teams have the highest scores yes. and the four highest uh, scoring teams in each class go on to uh, uh, semi-final and yeah. then bronze and gold medal yeah. matches like we yeah. are uh, experiencing now. Yeah. That was uh, wonderful to see uh, the longbow. That leaves us uh, finished with the longbow class yes. and we have the Austrian archers here. They are <laughs> extremely yeah. uh, excited about yeah. their... Yeah, they their Hand victory here. Out kisses, yeah. And well deserved indeed. Waving with the flag, yeah. Very well deserved. Congratulations, Austria. This means that we are moving on to instinctive class mixed team. <laughs> yes, we are just enjoying uh, <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> snap shooting style here. Versus Faletti's extremely long hold. He's a bit more of an aimer. Very cat. Yeah. And in just a minute we'll have the medals uh, ceremony and um, the medals will be presented by Ms. Daja Rosmanek, project manager of 3D European Championships. And of course, medalists, please, will you come to the medal ceremony? The medal ceremony will be held right now and that <laughs> comes as a bit of a surprise for some of the archers who are quick to take off their gear and uh, get ready to climb up on the podium. Yeah, maybe they were on their way to the shooting range. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know either, but uh, there is no they are uh, very excited, but everything moves very yeah, fast. Just look at the happy faces on the archers. Yeah. Ah, no flags on the, on the podium. Yeah. No flags on the podium. Uh, I'm not actually sure why it's... Uh no, I have no idea. <laughs> this is, uh, let's enjoy the ceremony. We are yeah. now going for the medal ceremony for the Longbow Mixed Team. Medal will be presented by Ms. Daria Rosmanek, project manager of the European Championships here in Slovenia. These archers will be historic in the and be the first mixed team uh, medal recipients yeah, that's true. in uh, world archery history, yeah. officially. And of course, having Rams medal is uh, from France, Daniel Ramos and Robin Gardner. Second place, silver medal representing Italy, Paola Scacchetti and Giuliano Paletti. And the Italians, Paola Scacchetti and Giuliano Paletti having the silver. 
First place gold medal and European 3D champion, Austria, Beate Schoenberger and Franz Haag. Congratulations, Beate Schoenberger and Franz Haag doing the big jump. Yeah. yeah, they wanted to get up there. Yeah, I understand why. And suddenly I, notice, I understand why Franz Haag is wearing a hat. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the national anthem of... The same reason I'm wearing a hat, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. And uh, the national anthem of Austria. Congratulations to all six arches. Very well done. Very well deserved, and um, uh, hopefully we will see uh, many more mixed team events yes. at the international yeah, I th championship. I think it's uh, it's it's a it's a good thing to have the mixed. Events. I think it's a good team to look at too it for is. audience. Uh, yeah, it it's is. it's it is. Uh, interesting and it's a little bit. It's no, I think it, it will uh, it will be a winner. We'll uh, hopefully continue with this. And now we are going to uh, proceed with the instinctive mixed teams. Yes. And um, that that's going to be very interesting, I think. Um, the bronze match will be first, will be between Italy and Austria. Yep. Um, Slovenia uh, beat Italy in uh, the semi-final and uh, Denmark won over Austria. Yeah. And for the Italian team we have uh, Michela Donati uh, shooting and we have Fabio Pitaluga shooting. Fabio is one of the most experienced, if the not if not the most experienced, uh, yes. totally archer, instinctive archer in in Europe, he has uh, several uh, international championship medals uh, in his bag. Um, extremely calm archer, uh, extremely stable. And on the Austrian side, we had Klaus Grünsteidl, who who is. Um, I could add that uh, Fabio is uh, currently ranked second in the uh, instinctive class uh, from the qualification days. Yes. And from Austria we have Klaus Grünsteidl who is ranked third. And we have um, Karin Nova, Novi, sorry, Karin Novi, uh, who is uh, ranked second in the instinctive woman. So extremely strong teams. I think we can expect some awesome shooting here. Yeah, I think uh, Karin Novi was also a me uh, medal winner at the last European Championships in, in Sweden. As far as uh, yes, I think you're right. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we're going to see some very, very good shooting. These are all strong, strong contenders. Italy will be shooting target one, which is the left target. Austria will be shooting target two. We will target number one, the team of Italy, Michela Donati and Fabio Pitaluga. And on target number two, the team of Austria, Karin Novi and Klaus 
Grunge title. And uh, judge in the match is Slobodan Matic. And on target number one, Italy is starting to shoot. Klaus Grünsteidl actually uh, during the qualification days uh, did the highest overall score on day two with uh, um, staggering 468 uh, points, 48 arrows. Yeah, Completely actually, amazing. I actually think it was 488. 468. Yeah, it was, it was, and it was 68, uh, okay. Fabio was not long be uh, far behind. He was 460. Yeah. So some absolutely amazing and almost crazy <laughs> scores were done there. Yeah, my goodness, I would be very satisfied if I could get that high. Uh, I think many Bebo archers would be very happy to get that high, yeah. yes. Uh, I can honestly say I've, I've never, ever seen scores that high in Stinkton class. No. We will now have uh, Fabio Pitaluga from Italy shooting first. Yeah. Uh, looking at the target, getting distance and uh, knocking an arrow. And here we can see the big difference between the longbow and uh, the instinctive class. That instinctive class is a wooden handle, but with, well, mostly carbon limbs. Uh, that's right, and it's a 10. Yeah. yeah like a very strong archer. That's right, uh, the handle section on the instinctive class bows have to be made from a natural material uh, that can be more than just wood, but it has to contain some part of wood. Yeah. And they're shooting, they're not shooting. Uh, that arrows. was unfortunately a um, <laughs> miss, I believe. Oh, right. um, sad. Yeah, but they're, they're shooting carbon arrows and not wood uh, arrows. As opposed to longbow class, uh, we are shooting carbon, carbon arrows. We can shoot any arrows we want. We can also use plastic veins instead of, uh, uh, instead of natural uh, turkey feathers. Okay. Um, and uh, the construction can be three-part takedown if uh, wanted. Klaus Grünsteidl now shooting for Austria. Awesome. And it's an 11. Awesome an 11. shot. Awesome shot. Karin Novi. Ka Novi. yeah, Very experienced. Very experienced yeah. archer. Uh, I believe actually the reigning world champion. And oh it's a 5. Yeah. Uh, that puts Austria in the lead 16 to 10. If it's confirmed, then uh, Italy starts on target number two to shoot first. What is similar between the longbow class and the instinctive class is that you uh, cannot have any sights on the bow. Uh, you also cannot use uh, the technique that we call string climbing. Um, which is where you place your draw fingers uh, a bit below the arrow. You have to hold your index fingers right below the arrow or you shoot split finger where you have uh, the arrow in between your index finger and your um, uh, next finger. Yeah, there are very special rules about how... There are very specific uh, rules about that. You need to have uh, one anchor point, which is the place on your face where your right hand, uh, for a right-handed archer, comes back uh, to hold. It uh, has to be a one constant place for uh, both longbow and instinctive. Yeah. Um, and you cannot string climb. You no. cannot... Uh, no. No. We'll, we'll We'll get more into that technique when we get yes. to the barebow class, yeah. but yes. uh, like we talked about before, the instinctive class is the second um, least advanced, uh, the second most primitive class we can yes. play. Longbow is the most primitive. You allow a few more things when it comes to instinctive, um, and then you add more stuff in barebow that we will get to yes. later. You can see if we look at the bow limbs that there is quite a big difference between the bow limbs in regards to how much recurve there is on the bow limbs. That's right. Uh, Fabio is shooting a border bow with uh, uh, with their, uh, I believe their CB9 limbs, uh, extreme recurve. Yes, my God. It's um, that's supposed to um, give some advantages in terms of speed and um, also a smoothness of, of draw. Yes, as, as we'll far see, as uh, We'll see Fabio shoot here. Look at his style. It's absolutely so elegant. Yeah. And yeah. it's a 10. It's wow. a very good shot on the wow. Ibex. Yes, and because of 
his bow being made, bow limbs being made like that is Making almost. Making a Donati like shooting mm -hmm. now. Yeah. It's an eight mm -hmm. strong. It's almost like doing a compound shoot because you have a sort of a. It feels like a let off. It, uh, it, it, yeah, and some people say it's a let off. I don't really agree. That it's a let off, but it it rarely increases in strength uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. the further you go back. Yes. You can see the on you see the limb tips on Klaus's bow here. It's a bit more traditional. Yeah, he's uh, yeah, probably shooting true. Uka limbs and uh, um, uh, and oh, it's an yeah. eleven. My God, that is strong shooting. So I don't know what range they are at there, but oh. I would say they're probably at uh, twenty-five or something like that. Yeah. So Karin Novi. Karin Novi approaching and drawing back. Very fast oh shooting, oh and it's oh a oh 10 oh or 11. My goodness, it's good shooting. That is well awesome shooting. They're doing very well this afternoon, Austria. They're very good. Extremely well. You will also probably notice a difference in, in anchor point, like we talked about before, between longbow and instinctive class. That instinctive, typically, uh, modern instinctive class archers will typically anchor much higher on their face and have the yes. arrow much closer to their eye, uh, which gives them it an advantage. It's a lot easier to aim. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And therefore, you will see more longbow archers shooting what we call instinctively, like mm. looking at the target and just uh, <laughs> shooting yeah. with you yeah. with your gut feeling. Yeah. And you will see uh, more cool. instinctive class yeah. archers. <laughs> Although the name is called instinctive, you will see more instinctive class archers actually gap e shooting, which yeah. is aiming, aiming just yeah. a little bit below, uh, using the tip of the arrow yes. to aim with. Yes. And we'll see the big difference between that way of doing things and when we get to the bear bow where you have the string walking and you, you change the angle of the bow in regards to where you are at the distance of the animal. Yes, That's yes. Uh, it Absolutely. probably looks a bit strange for people that no are not used to seeing archery, but... Uh, it's no, I think the the difference will be apparent when we get to uh, yeah. to Bebo. We'll try to remember to talk a little sure. bit about that. Sure. I think. Uh, sure. at, however, uh, right now Austria is in the lead, 37 uh, towards uh, versus Italy's 28. Yeah. So that's a solid lead. It is. It is. Uh, but like we talked about before, it's uh, there are two targets left, and that's not at all impossible to uh, to gain back. No, but but still, we haven't seen Austria at all being. They don't seem like being. They are nervous or anything. No, they They're they have a solid. 37 yeah. on uh, yeah. uh, on four arrows now. That's an yeah. average well above nine. It is. Uh, so uh, that's really really awesome shooting. Yeah, that in itself. You'll also see awesome. now that Italy is shooting first again now. Um, the leading team actually, uh, I believe, decides who shoots first. Okay. So they have given it to uh, Italy. There might be. Uh, uh, psychological okay. advantage to yes, having the lower course, uh, course, ranking team shoot first. Yeah, of course. Fabio coming to full draw. Eleven. Eleven. And eleven. Oh awesome goodness. shooting. And Michela Donati. And oi it's oi a oi ten. Oi. Ten. Oh. Oh. Very strong. They're really doing it well. This Klaus Grünstein now using his binos to just check where the score zone is. Yep. That's an 11. So, Karin Novi, shooting at the Cougar. Yeah, he's shooting absolutely magnificent. Yeah. Karin Novi. Ten. And a ten. Oh, yeah. ten. That is more than just Very, very solid. strong shooting. Yeah, it is. With one target, two goals. Klaus has an extremely high anchor. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you noticed it, but he's anchoring sort of not below his eye, but but to the right of his eye. So he's um, 
height wise he does not have to aim much below oh, and he may even have to be oh, able to oh. aim exactly where yeah. he's his arrow uh, so he's he wants his arrow to go so he's shooting directly at the target instead he of may be depending on the distance sure. um, but you cannot have uh, uh, same point of impact at, no. at uh, 10 meters, 20 meters, and 30 meters. No, that's no, no, not no. possible because the arrow has a trajectory. Yes. Um, it's over. But it's it's an interesting technique. It is. I haven't seen it before. He's he's really high on his anchor. I've seen a few are just trying to get the anchor all the way up to there, but very few do it well. Yeah. I can't get mine up to there. There's well no way. I've been talking to one of the instinctive archers at the Danish team, and he was uh, he was well, sort of experienced in a little bit with uh, having a, a high anchor, but uh, well, it was it was difficult for him because he wanted to have uh, well, not as much. Uh, um, ah, just lost my tongue there. Uh, he he, wa he wanted to to re reduce his uh, his gap. His gap. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if you have a if you have a very very fast setup, a fast flying arrow, mm -hmm. then uh, it's an advantage to have as high as anchor uh, an anchor as possible. Okay. Now we'll see Fabio uh, entering, uh, preparing yeah. to shoot the last target here, yeah. which is yeah. uh, the jackals. Yeah. That's a quite a pretty distance. I'm guessing. 20 meters or something from here, eight. and eight. it's an eight, very solid. close to the ten line, but it's yeah. probably an eight. Solid. It's a solid shot, in very solid shot. Michaela. Yeah. And 11. Oh. Strong, Italy. strong finish from that Italy. Six very 68 nice to 58. So a little bit of pressure put on Austria at yeah, uh, two, two the five, final end. Two but fives and we'll have a shoot-off. Two five and we'll have a shoot-off. Yeah. Or one ten and a miss. And that's not impossible. Yeah. Klaus bracing himself. Ten. And it's a ten. ten for Austria. So... So Karin is now uh, in what we call hit to win. Yes. Hit the animal yeah. and uh, the victory goes to Austria. And, and it's a hit. So. <laughs> and congratulations, congratulations Austria, Austria on, on the bronze medal. Yes. And congratulations to Italy as well, getting to the to Absolutely. The like match. I said before, they are magnificent archers, and I have uh, the l biggest respect for yes. both of them. There, there are no bad archers down here. It's, uh, they're Absolutely they're all not. Very good. And uh, I am pretty sure we'll see uh, more of these people in the yes. following days in both uh, yes. Yes. team and individual <laughs> events. Fabio is actually directly qualified to semi-final in the instinctive class individually. Ah, okay. So um, he has uh, he hasn't shot his last arrow. In this and it's confirmed. Look and at the style. Yeah, high anchor. Beautiful study of how you shoot. Good release. Good release. Strong uh, back tension. She's solid. Mm, very. That means that we are moving on to the gold medal match. Yes, of course, we're match. approaching the gold medal match, and yes. we can just see the Danish flag in the background. Of course, that's uh, my yes, comrades that's in arms. I yeah. understand why you are um, <laughs> of course excited I'm to see what's happening here. Of course, here. I'm a bit excited about that. We have uh, from the Danish team Frank Christensen and Rika Holten. Frank is a very experienced archer. Frank is actually the reigning European champion. He is. Individually. But interestingly enough, Rikke is doing her first uh, international uh, event. Oh, really? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. And he shot, she shot magnificently in the semi-finals, almost doing eight in the average eight, which is uh, magnificent. Yeah, she is uh, ranking ten in the uh, qualification yes. rounds. Yes. So that that's good. That's very good for your yeah, first it is, international it is, championship. It is. For Slovenia, we have uh, Mojca Pavacic and uh, Christian Horvat. Yes. Um, Moicha is ranked 6 individually and 
uh, Christian is ranked 14 in the qualification, yeah. so uh, both of them will be shooting on individually yeah. after this. Yeah. We should also mention Frank here, his uh, ranking is currently 4 in the individual yes, uh, he's been doing really well. uh, after two days yeah. of uh, qualification. Yeah. So I think we're going to see some uh, very good and strong shooting here too. Yes. Frank has a very distinctive style when he's shooting. Uh, it seems like sometimes he's uh, have a, having a bad release, but he, uh, because his hand is very high when he's releasing. But uh, he's uh, he's a Ladies really instinctive shooter. He is a, he is one of the few uh, archers in this class that actually shoot instinctively. Yes, yes. Fabio also to a certain degree, I believe, is uh, yeah. shooting instinctively. Yeah. And. Uh, here we have Slovenia coming yeah. onto the course. Yeah. Wojciech Pavatic and Christian Horvat. Yeah. There we have it. In the background, Frank Christensen with a uh, Frank Christensen with a Denmark hat on him. Yeah. And in the background, the team coach uh, David Haugen. Mega Holt is the, uh, the foreground. Yeah. Frank and Rike. Yes. The team of Denmark will start to shoot first. <coughs> <coughs> Frank Christensen is uh, well. He's uh, he's very known for doing very well under pressure. Of actually, he's doing better when he's pressured. He's very very solid. Uh, Frank is uh, always shooting well, and yeah. um, no, but we're gonna see. They are all great archers here, and I sure. think we can experience them. Uh, uh, awesome shooting in sure. this, but it's, it's, it's going to be hard to beat the bronze medal match uh, sure. in terms of 11s. But they don't have to. It, this this match is individual, so... Anything can happen. Yeah. Anything can happen, and one thing that you have to know is that everyone might look unaffected in a situation like this, <laughs> but I can promise you that there are no archers yes. standing on an international yeah. final so uh, day Christensen. field and not feeling the nerves. Frank uh. shooting here. And it's Whoa. an 11. My goodness. That was a strong start. That off. is a strong start. Rike comes to the stand. She's just eyeing uh, the target with her binoculars. Yeah. And eight. it's an 8. And it's an 8. That's a very good start. Yeah. An interesting story about, <coughs> about Rege is that uh, when she was doing the first day of individual shooting, she had to uh, have her glove sewn together because uh, the judges thought that she was uh, she was doing um, well, one finger under and two uh, two fingers under. And Very fast shooting and Moit just shoots an 11 it looks, 10 or 11. I'm not sure about that one. My goodness. I think it might be upgraded to an 11. I was downgraded to a 10, but uh, yeah. Uh, Christian Horvat. Eight. And it's an eight. eight. It's very close. Yes, it is. 18, 19. <laughs> One point advantage to Denmark. Hmm. It's very close. It's very close. Um, yeah. Just That's the way we like it. Yes, just we don't as, want it, as it has to be in a gold medal. Yeah, it, I mean, these are, again, uh, I think we're going to see more of all these, all of these arches in the sure. next couple sure. of days. So. Sure, sure. Large flags in the background, the Slovenian flag and, and the, the Danish flag. Slovenia yeah. being the home nation uh, for this championship. Uh, Frank and Rege waving to the public. Obviously, it's extra <laughs> funny to see them on the, on the final uh, field. Frank is just enjoying himself. He's smiling and laughing. Frank yeah. loves shooting finals. Yes. That's the best thing he knows. I actually share an apartment with him here at the, at the event. He's uh, he's just full of uh, full of energy all the time. Yeah. And now you'll see what I talked about before. The the lower ranking uh, uh, team will now often shoot first. Th yep. That is Slovenia in this case. Yes. Judge explaining that Slovenian team shoots first and mm. Danish team shoots second. Yeah. 
the archers looking at the ibex with the binoculars to make sure that where the score zone is. Yeah, it's an it's a semi long shot, not at max distance. Max distance, uh, we might talk about that. The distance can vary from five to thirty meters yes. for instinctive longbow and barebow class. For compound, it goes all the way out to forty-five meters. Well Fast really shot, high. and oh, it's, it's a five. A uh, five. That was. Um, I bet she's happy it sits in the animal. Yes, it's, it seemed like she was uh, uh, shooting very fast. Yeah. yeah. And Christian Horvath. And yeah. it's oh, a five. five. Yeah. Well, this is a chance for Denmark yes, to... Um, knowing uh, Frank Christensen, uh, he will he'll probably put a good arrow Denmark? in the animal right now. We'll see, but it's, it's a chance for Denmark. Yes, it is. Frank is actually shooting a riser. The, the handle section of his bow is from Slovenia. He shoots an eight. It's an eight, yeah. Yeah, he's shooting a minx. He's shooting a minx riser from Slovenia. Yeah. So that's a bow that's come home. <laughs> I'm quite sure that Rega is using Uka limbs and Frank as well. Um, oh, yeah, uh, that miss. was a miss. Uh, that threw everything uh, around a yeah, little bit. Yeah, that changed things a bit. Slovenia now in the lead with 28 to 27. However, it's still one point. They have two two animals left. So. Uh, there are uh, now the Cougars and uh, the uh, Coyotes left. Yes. Now we should probably see Denmark shooting first again. Yep. Uh, it's confirmed in the piece that Denmark will start shooting the third target. Yeah, we will see if if uh, Rega can get over her miss on on the ibexes. It it can be quite difficult to not. It can be think, difficult to, to shake off. Miss. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. but that's what you have to do in situations sure. like this. Sure. You have to sort of. You cannot take back that arrow. You have no. to let it go no. and uh, be determined about the next sure. one. Sure. Uh, shoot one but arrow at a time, not four. But, but it is easy to it's easy to talk if about. If you just sit it, here and talk about it, a bit more <laughs> difficult to do in real life. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Frank approaching the target now. Yes. Denmark shooting first again since it's now the lower ranking uh, team. Deep concentration from Frank. And it's a good arrow. It's an 11. It's oh my a good god. Arrow. My goodness, he's good. He's so cold. He's cold. Yeah. But it's like we said, Frank is one of the guys that absolutely love uh, shooting uh, uh, finals and matches. Yeah, we were talking about he's yeah. just like an old circus horse smelling yeah. the sawdust. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's like an 8 yeah. from Rega, I think. And it's a 10, I think. It's a 10. That was very my strong. Goodness. That puts a little bit of pressure onto Slovenia yes. now. Yes. Uh, they have to have two tens to equal. approaching. She's shooting a border, I think. A border riser. Okay. Eight. That's a eight. eight. Okay. Good shooting. You don't see that many border rises around, I think. In, in we see... Uh, yeah, uh, no, on the contrary, I'd say we see a lot of border rises. Um, and Christian... A little bit shaky. Um, and it's a 10. A not shaky 10 is still a 10. Not that shaky. <laughs> <laughs> not that shaky. No. So, 46 to 48. This is all going to come down to the last target. Yes. And of course, it's our good friends, the Jackals. It's a, it's a very difficult target. Yeah. Quite small. And as you said, standing on an angle. Yeah. yeah, and in the, in the shade now, so they have that they have does not make things easier. No, no, they're standing in the sun and they have to shoot into the shade, so it's it's difficult. It, it also kind of makes uh, guessing the distance uh, a bit more difficult. Yes, you have a tendency to shoot short or when you're standing in the light and shooting into the darkness. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm sort of starting to second guess myself whether I shoot so short or long, but. Uh, <laughs> 
I am at I, least. I, I can say that I have difficulties with shooting short when I shoot from from the light into yeah. the dark. Yeah, yeah. And they always have those uh, targets when you get out to, to competitions mm. where you have to stand in the light and, and shoot into into the darkness. Probably animals standing under branches so that uh, they're dark. We actually had. That I don't yesterday. know what what distance yeah, they're at here, right. but um, uh, it's uh, 17, 18 yeah, meters. Yeah, perhaps, somewhere I'd, between I'd 15 and 18 oh meters, I think. Yeah. Which but that's uh, the thing about 3D archery. Uh, you don't know what range you're shooting at. Yeah. You have a range span, like we said for this cl this class, it's five to 30 meters. Five yeah. meters minimum, thirty meters maximum. And look at that. She's shooting one finger over and two fingers. He's shooting under. split finger, yes. Yeah. And that Ooh, high was five. a high five, yes. Um, and also, she has she shoots a little bit like, uh, or very much like the longbow <laughs> archer shoot. Oh, it's a split finger and a rather low anchor, so she's yes. shooting more or less instinctively. Yeah, he's, uh, he's Christian's climbing up under. a little higher, so I can't really. Yeah. It's difficult to say. It's an eight. It's a good arrow. Yeah. So, fifty-nine points for Slovenia, and we have the Danes. Before the last two arrows, and the hat comes off for <laughs> for Cl for Frank now, and it's, and a, it's ten. a ten. That means uh, Rika has to she hit has the to animal hit the to target, win. Yeah. She looks very calm. Yeah, she does. She's a cool customer. Uh, but now here comes that extra breath of air to keep your nerves come and, and it's, it's an eight, eight. and it's and goal for Denmark Denmark is the goal My congratulations goodness. Denmark wow 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 maybe we'll have a large beer tonight celebrating the Danish gold mm, medal no we won't <laughs> no we won't because alcohol is on the doping list yes. at this event uh, yeah. so uh, there will be no alcohol on but um, you can drink beer event. with no alcohol. But you I can imagine having a beer. That's I okay. I, I know that the Swedes are used to drinking beer without alcohol, so it can be done. <laughs> Congratulations to the Danish team, Frank Christensen and Rega Holt. And of course, a big congratulation to Slovenia as well. Very well done. Frank Christensen is, uh, well, he's smiling. Of course he's smiling. Yeah, of he's course he's uh, smiling. Why wouldn't <laughs> he be smiling? <laughs> but look, look at look at the calmness, eh? Waving to the audience when he releases. Uh, yes, wonderful. it's uh, very strange he does that. It, it's not classically the way it should look, but no. it works for him. No. I know firsthand how well he shoots, so. Uh, Don't change it if it ain't. I'm not. Wrong, gonna, I'm eh? not going to criticize a <laughs> guy no. that shoots that well. No, 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 no. It's a bit different kind of anchoring he has because he draws low and then gets up yes, to his anger. Yes, uh. each archer in his own, uh, the way sure. um, the way they kind of um, get into anchor. Sure, um, sure. I have a different way of getting into anchor that other people find interesting and okay. not really classic. But well, I've actually never seen you shoot, Brian. Even though we're both Danes, but you you, uh, you I compete with the Swedes. I uh, yeah. live in Sweden. I have done so for for 20 years, so yeah, I shoot yeah, for Sweden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, But uh, now we're moving on to the medal ceremony. Uh, uh, yes. For the instinctive mixed team. Yeah, we have uh, for Austria, Karin Novi and Klaus Greenstyle with the bronze. And the silver medal for Slovenia, Mojka Pavacic and Christian Horvat. And of course, from Denmark, the gold medal winners, Frank Christensen and Rega Holten. Yeah. Yes, I, th I think I think we'll be uh, up late tonight in the Danish uh, yeah, at the Danish team. It's uh, well deserved, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yes. It's also interesting when you look at the individual uh, ranking for um, the um, uh, Danish instinctive gentlemen that uh, you have. Um, Two archers amongst the top five. Yes, that's true. We have uh, Frank, for a small nation like Denmark, that's very, very strong. Yes, but we we've actually had that for several years because uh, Frank Christensen and the other guys, Seabrand, 
is, uh, well, they're very good, and Frank is the reigning European champion, and Siebrand is uh, a former world champion. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, they are, they are very strong, absolutely. And, and we've actually, we have a new... We have a newcomer as well in the instinctive class who's done quite well as, uh, as well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are now going for the victory ceremony for the instinctive mixed team division. So, should I stand for the national anthem? I am Danish. You may stand for the. <laughs> but we, I think we have to uh, probably um, uh, sit down and, and keep an eye on the screen sure, so we sure. may have to to deviate from the normal yes, protocol yes, <laughs> in order yes, to do our yes. job here. And, I, and i usually sing as well when it's the national anthem i will refrain from that as uh, well. we thank you a lot for that not because the danish am anthem isn't beautiful but uh, no, but, but for austria now klaus grünsteidel karin novi well congratulations deserved. to the bronx well, well deserved. deserved awesome shooting yes Second place, silver medal, representing Slovenia. S silver medalist, Pavicic Slovenia. And Christian Horvath. Bojša Pavicic and Christian Horvath, well deserved silver medals. And obviously extremely popular uh, in the home country. Uh, of course, of course. And well been, deserved, congratulations. They've been doing very well in they the individual indeed. They uh, have indeed. as well, yeah. I was I was actually beaten very severely by a Slovenian on the first day uh, in Babel competition. Okay. Yeah. Too bad for you, but uh, <laughs> happy for Slovenia. Yes. And the gold medal winners? Frank Christensen and Rege Holten from Denmark. Big cheers from Denmark. Frank already the reigning individual European champion for Instinct to Bow Men and Rika on her first international championship, ah, a gold medal recipient. Ah, that's amazing. That's, that's amazing. amazing. That you is don't see that a lot. No, 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 no. I know that Frank will be singing very late in the evening yes but he doesn't sing well <laughs> no but he's entertaining and actually we might want to mention this actually guess whose birthday it is today i know it's frank's frank's birthday, birthday today yeah, so is. that's some birthday present it is and we were singing and cheering for him at the uh, at the lunch today yeah i sang for him this morning yeah. but um and the national anthem of denmark there is a beautiful country directly translated from danish to english yeah Ah, that's a beautiful sight. The oldest national flag in the world, actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Interesting story. More than 800 years. Yes, yeah. but we're not going to pull that now. I think no, it's going to really take too long. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. But what a birthday present for Frank. But you have to be careful because I was just about to tell the story. I'm a history teacher mm. in ah, real life. So, yeah. ah. Big cheers for the winners and big cheers for the medal uh, recipients as well. It's absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. well deserved. We well there deserved. are amazing archers on the podium and also Italy on the fourth place. Yes, here. yes. Um, extremely competent archers. So Frank is almost dancing on the podium, <laughs> yeah. as always. <laughs> as always, it's a, it's a cheerful guy. Yeah, he is. You're never is. bored around him. No, no, no. And I know what the first thing he will do when he comes up to uh, the hotel, what Don't he will be me. doing, he will be calling his wife. Ah! Yes. Okay, you <laughs> could tell me that. I was, I was expecting something he's, else. No, he's, 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 always, he's always calling his wife uh, to tell her, I did this and uh, we, went, we did well. And, uh, big cheers to Frankie. Big cheers to Frank.
birthday boy and gold gold medal winner. That's not uh, not too bad a birthday. No, it is. Now we are moving on to the next event, which is uh, Barebo yeah, that's, that's mixed team. That's that's more like it, if you t if you ask me, because I'm a Barebo shooter. You're as well. a Barebo archer. Yes. I am. I am. And uh, of course we have in uh, in the bronze medal uh, match we have Russia against Austria again. No. No. We have Austria versus, we have Austria Spain, versus Spain, Spain in the bronze Spain. medal match. Yes. Yeah, that's true. So if I'm Aust not, uh, otherwise I'm going to get no, fired no, from this job no. faster than you can say I was, uh, mispronouncement. I was, I was wrong. So Ladies and gentlemen. We are now going for the but bronze Austria medal match again for the Bambo Mixed Team. Final. That's amazing. Bronze medal match. Yeah, yes. yeah. Austria versus Spain. And for Austria, we have uh, Ulrike Steinwander and Alois Steinwander. Aha. For Spain, Cassandra Campoteles and Cesar Verabringas. Vera Briggs is a very experienced archer and he's actually reigning one of uh, the He is, um, he's a world champion, but not the reigning world champion. Very solid shooting. Oh, that's not the, that's not the right one. Um, he's, he's magnificent. He's magnificent. Cesar Vera Briggs is uh, ranked one in the qualification day individually, yes. uh, Bearbo men. And uh, Alois uh, Steinwender is uh, ranked five. He actually um, beat me with a hundred points on the first day of shooting. Yes, I think so. He has <laughs> a, he has a total of um, he has a total of nine hundred and twenty seven ah, points fantastic. over two days. That's, that's an fantastic. amazing score by any standard. Yes. And um, Cassandra is um, ranking she is ranking nine. Yeah. Uh, on the individual ranking, yeah. Cassandra Campoteles and uh, so Ulrike Steinwender is ranking fourth in yeah. the in individual event. So Cesar Briggs is uh, preparing for to shoot the foxes as the first target, and of course now we're talking Bearbo, where you can. You, you can see what he's doing there. He's sort of uh, using his tap to find a point yes. below. You can see he's holding way yeah. below the arrow. Yes, that and means he can aim with the tip of his arrow regardless Wait, of the yeah. distance and it's and a ex it cannot be a better 11 my goodness that had it been indoor it had been it, it would have been a spider as they call it, it would yeah be, yeah that's amazing that's an someone call it inside out if it's a, on a target face yeah it, everything is inside and and they of course they uh, they string walk to get to get the right angle. Cassandra is their string walking, yes. Cassandra shoots an eight. Oh my goodness. Strong start yes. for oh. Spain. Wow. Now Alois is uh, preparing to shoot for yeah. Austria. Guessing and the distance, he's and another thing that is special about Bebo is that the rises, the handles are now made of metal. Uh, the handle in Berbo can be made of metal. You yes. can also see that they can add weights on the yes. outside. Yes. It's made of but that's an eight. Um, there are specific rules to how big these weights can be because everything has to fit within a ring of uh, twelve point seven centimeters. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, the string not counted. Yes. And they actually do technical controls uh, before... We have technical uh, controls uh, on the beginning of these events. Every bow has to pass. Ulrike is shooting now. That's an and eight. it's an eight. So that puts uh, Spain in the lead with 19 versus Austria's 16. Yeah. Three, pin, uh, three points yeah. below, but still a very solid start. Oh, yes, that's... Uh, yeah. Three targets left, six arrows for each uh, yeah. team. That's yeah. absolutely not impossible yeah. to take control of that. Very, very tall man, Vera Bringus. Uh, very tall man, yes. He has a very long draw, draw length of his bow. But uh, Alois Steinwinder is uh, not exactly a dwarf either. No, no, no. He's uh, compared to me. He's uh, he's a giant. <laughs> and they're eyeing the ibexes, wait, waiting for. The judges to show them where to shoot from. 
scoring done, arrows can be drawn. Yeah. Spain cheering in the background. Yes, the Spanish flag is uh, being waved up there. Uh, <laughs> and, and the rest of the team are waving uh, towards the camera. Yeah, that's, uh, like we said, due to the pandemic, there is not a, a huge crowd here because no. it's simply not allowed. No. Uh, we are um, supposed to be in what they call a bubble, so not a lot of other people are um, yes. uh, coming into the championship area. Yes, and you could also see that uh, with the medal ceremony that they they couldn't have anyone giving them the medal. No, on, on no, yeah, there's still to, uh, strict pandemic rules testing, uh, yes, sure. uh, testing yep. going on for people that so do not Aust have a vaccine. Austria. Shooting first on the other Alois is uh, oh, going to shoot. Gauges the distance. Yeah. Uh, taps, and like we said, we, he taps down to the appropriate point yeah. under. Yeah. Moves a tap there. And then he's ready. And aims, and aims with, the, with the tip of the arrow. Yeah. yeah. Solid. And it's a solid 10. Solid 10. Oh. They're displaying an eight. I'm not really. I it was it was a line, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was on the line. We will we may be wrong, but yeah. in that case, it will be upgraded. It's, or a, it's a bit difficult. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see sometimes, especially on the screen that we yes. have in front of us. Yes. Yeah. Ah, Luis is shooting a ten. ten. Oh. Solid ten. Yeah, they are both I tens. Ten. I am pretty sure yeah. about that. Yes. So. Will I bring us eyeing the target? Yeah, trying to to measure the distances w with his eyes and yeah, you can and see then he's using sort of his uh, his tap to saying, oh well, this is the difference. I'll hold here, and he'll just yeah. make the shot. You kind of have to use all of your senses and all of your tricks Sh to, sure, to guess the distance sure, because sure, sure. when you aim point on, you you have to be more or less spot on with the sure. distance. And it's oh, a ten. ten. Ten, I actually sometimes, when I'm shooting competition, use my e my ears as well to to listen to uh, to how 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 long it takes for the uh, the competition arrow to to hit the target. That's right. You you can get sort of a rough idea that way. Yeah. Absolutely. And for Spain, uh, Cassandra's shooting. Shoots very it's fast. Five. It's a five. So that means that it is level now if that Maybe score stands. But we have doubts about that eight there. Yes. Yes. Pretty sure that's going to be upgraded to a ten for Austria. Yeah, that, that should be an asterisk at, at the eight because I'm yeah. quite sure it's a line. But that will, uh, the judges have come up to the targets and we will yeah. Um, yeah. see if that happens. Otherwise, the score is right now 34 34. Yes. But like we said, that might change once the judges have uh, done the final scoring. I just I could just hear what you said because someone was screaming in my ear. But yeah, and we can see at uh, at the screen that Italy beat Austria in the semi-finals and Russia beat Spain, and um, that was their road to to the final. Um, so what we're witnessing now is, um, if we haven't said it before, it's the bronze match between Spain and Austria. Um, and yeah. the crowd is cheering. That might be because uh, that arrow was uh, deemed to be a 10. The Austrian crowd. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Austrians are waving. <laughs> it's a very beautiful area we're in. It's absolutely magnificent. I for, for us as Danes at this time of year, coming down to these kinds of temperatures are amazing. It's just like I talked to I talked to friends that. before I uh, went down here, and they said that Slovenia was without a doubt the most beautiful country they had ever visited. Yeah, I've heard that as well. Uh, I've heard that as it's well. absolutely magnificent, and you, there's no way we can share that to you now. But uh, the view from the top of the mountain here, over the valley and over Maribor, is. Mm. Oh, so breathtaking that you yeah. almost get tears in your eyes yeah. when you think about yeah. it. And before going down here, I was actually sort of trying to find out 
when I seeing uh, yeah, we'll Cesar see. Brink yeah, using his binos yeah. to uh, to see exactly where the scoring zone is on the yeah. on the Kyogas. Uh, yeah, the Kyogas are now that. standing in in shadow. Um, the yes. sun has interestingly moved. Ah, it used to do that, moved but, as well down there, yeah. but now the cougars are in shadow and the archers are standing in the sun. So it's it's a oh little bit goodness. more challenging for them to range the distance, yes. and also the shooting itself can be uh, more difficult. Deep but breath um, from Vera Ringers. Spin, ten. And, and it's, it's a ten. ten. Good shot. Yeah, very good. It's very difficult to see the score ring when it's in the s in the, the shade. It's very difficult. Cassandra tapping down. It's a very beautiful color that riser, but uh, I'm quite sure that the boys will laugh at me if I was shooting that uh, color uh, at the competition. It takes a man. Yeah, it does. And oh it's another ten. ten. It's a beautiful shot. My beautiful. goodness, they're very Puts solid. Puts a little pressure back in Austria. Alois. What you can see, what he's doing is with his hand right now. Yeah, he's, he's sort of. Um, he's trying to measure the distance with his yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. He's he's measure is maybe a well big word, but he's trying to guess the distance. Yes. And sort of going from that spot of grass to that was fun. Is yes. Seven meters, for instance, and from that one to the next one is mm. eight meters, and sort of adding everything together. A fast shot, it's That's a, a ten. ten. Yeah. It's very difficult to, to measure out the distance yeah. when you have nothing in the background to, to sort of help you. Yeah, uh, that can be one of the, ex the the most difficult places to guess distance yeah. is like on a flat football field. Yes, stuff yes. Like that. You have nothing. Golf course or something, yeah. You very have difficult. nothing to, to compare. Uh, if you're in the woods, you can use trees and yes. variations in the landscape. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ulrike is shooting now. Oh, and that's a little It's level. a 10, ten or, or 11. 11. Yeah, it's um, oh, awesome shooting. Oh, only two points difference. That is fabulous shooting. Yeah, but let's remember, we are seeing some of the world's absolutely <laughs> best bearbo archers right yeah, now. So, yeah, that's true. So I don't know why we're surprised. But <laughs> no, 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 absolutely true, because, because the European bearbo shooters are not only European top class, but also yeah. world class. Absolutely world class. Yeah. And I know uh, that the Americans would differ, but yeah. but the Europeans are world class. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, although it's European Championship, we have many of the world's best yes, archers are true. coming from Europe. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And especially in the Bebo uh, division, the competition in Europe is so It's so fierce. Hard. Yeah, it Absolutely is. Absolutely fierce. It is. It is. Uh, and of course, from Sweden, you have uh, a, a newcomer. Well, not completely newcomer, but he's only 18 years old. He's uh, 18 years old. I think actually he turned seven, 18 last week. Oh uh, my goodness! He is. Uh, Does he drive? Uh, he's a, he's a talent, and um, we're rooting for yeah, him in the future. Yes, yes, I've been talking to him. Awesome. He's, yeah. he's a cool customer. But that's one of the great things about uh, well, uh, 3D archery now. There's a picture of, of uh, Leo Pedersen, 18 years old, standing. He's the youngest participant here. Yes. And he's standing next to the oldest. He's yes. 68 years old. Yes. There's 50 years of different age yeah, difference that's between them. And that's they are competing on the same level and the yes. same championship. Yes. Now, tell me any other sport we can do that. Chess. Right, chess, <laughs> maybe, yes. It's not many. <laughs> but not many 68 no. year olds that are doing very well. Now, we're on the final target. It's the, uh, our friends, the Coyotes, and Cesar yeah. is. Uh, Cesar Briggs is shooting uh, Hoyt limbs. Yeah. He's shooting Hoyt limbs. Yes. Yeah. Deep breath. High anchor. Hey, and, and it's, it's an, an 11. eleven. Oh, that is a magnificent. That's murder. Well, the last arrow oh. shooting an eleven is fantastic. Ah, you, it's, uh, yeah. that's, you can talk about so handling pressure well. Yes. So, Cassandra, will she be doing the same thing? Will she be doing handling her the pressure and keeping her nerves down? Eight. Fast shooting, it's eight an eight. 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 It's, it's solid. I think, I think she had a good trainer, oh. Cassandra. Yeah. Her boyfriend is uh, also doing very well in Bebo uh, division. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Garcia I, I did not know that. Uh, oh, Garcia Hernandez, yeah. yeah. Now we have Alois Steinwender from yep. Austria. 
So they need a good uh, well score. Well, right now it's 73. <laughs> they to need, a, very they good need score. a good score. It's, it's yeah. going to be tight. Yeah. Uh, it can be done. Austria can sure. take this, but um, they have to shoot well. Uh, and it's an 11. A 11. Yeah. My God. Wow, Performing wow, wow. that way under high pressure. That it's wow. truly impressive. But then again, some of the world's best archers. So, so an eight not totally for unexpected. An eight for Austria. I just uh, yes, uh, Austria has to shoot an eight yes. for the win. Mm, it's a miss. It's a miss. And the gold medal, uh, the bronze medal, sorry, goes to Spain. Yes. That's. Um, that's a sad way to finish yeah, it off. But she's been, she's been know shooting very, very well. So, but it's it's difficult to handle. It's the very pressure. difficult to handle the pressure, and yes. also there are many things can go. It it's not necessarily that um, Ulrike couldn't handle the pressure. It's, uh, it can also be a matter of guessing the distance wrong and yes. and yes. tabbing down wrong, yes. string climbing yes. wrong. Yes, you, you know you only need one. You only need one, one of all those one mistakes. One fault yeah. in, in, in your in your crowd. So, but on but well done, impressive shooting it from is. both teams. Congratulations to Spain. The smiles, that are the smiles are on their faces, yeah. even though they lost. But that's just the way it is. Yeah. They they've shot well. They did. But congratulations to ah, Spain the for the they are dancing their, are dancing. <laughs> 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 dancing their way out of the out. They're dancing the way out of the game of play here. And yeah, big fantastic. cheering in Spain. Congratulations. That means that we will be moving on to the gold medal match for Berbo Mixed Team. Yes. And uh, also very, yeah, we have very Russia, strong. Russia uh, against match. Italy. Russia yeah. against Italy. For Russia. Uh, shooting is Julia Blanter. Uh, I absolutely do not have my papers in working order oh right now. Berbo women here. She is currently ranking seven. Uh, sorry, second, second yeah. in the uh, individual ranking. And uh, Budiak Vitali Vitali Budiak, uh, who is ranking fourth in Berbo okay. men. So okay. that's a very, very strong team. It is, it is. And of course, but <laughs> on the Italian side, we have an old, uh, well, not old, she's not old, she's very young compared to me, but she's been uh, she's been doing this for a long time. Yeah, and... S uh, Cynthia Nocilia, she's... Uh, absolutely. Well. It's difficult to... Um, she, she's an absolute, absolute world-class artist. She one is. of the absolute top contenders for anything. She's ranking number one in the Berbo women's division yeah. after yeah, with, uh, with, with distance, after the qualification. With distance, to, uh, with down distance, to the next she ones, has yes. uh, well, not that big actually. A total of 829 uh, points for two days uh, yeah, with the second okay. uh, Yula Blanta for oh, on wow, 822. Wow. Wow, wow, so wow. it's tight in the top. Two extremely good female archers. Yes. And on the male side, yes, I know him. Actually, for Italy, yeah. Alessandro Rigamonti, who uh, is ranking third in the Berbo men. So we are talking absolutely top contenders yes. here. But interestingly enough, Alessandro, he's uh, well, this is his first uh, competition in European Championships. Okay. He's, ne he's never done outside uh, Italy before. I was uh, I was in the in the first group with him on Monday, and he was just amazingly calm. He shoots it very very well, and he was third on, the, on Monday, third on Tuesday as well. That's uh, stable shooting. It is. He's he's very very calm. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, if you thought that you were watching uh, that the last match was a good one, I think. Uh, this we can expect a match at least as uh, this is good this here. is probably well I was I was enjoying the Danes uh, winning but this is probably for me as a Bebo shooter the most uh, exciting match of all today because they are top contenders 
They're absolutely top yes. contenders. Yeah, yeah, I actually yeah. met Cynthia and Ocilia. Also, also on the world scene. Yes, I met I met Cynthia and Ocilia at our hotel where we uh, we eat uh, the buffet uh, at the same place, and I was starstruck. Yeah, she was, um, but she's an amazingly um, calm and uh, well. She's she's just a nice person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But artists generally are. Sure, sure. So we have uh, the Russian starting Julia Blanta, and they're shooting at the foxes again. Yes. Um, the and blue pig has been moved back and forth yes, uh, several course. times now, but yeah, it will. So she's doing her string walk. She already knows in her mind what the distance is, and, and it's an eight. An eight. Russia. And. B we Vitali Vitali is uh, coming, doing his string walking. Yeah, he shoots a win and win limbs. Yeah, those are also very good limbs. Um. That was ten. a long and, a ten. and it's a Russia. ten. It's yeah. good shooting. 18. And they they shoot spin vanes, which is uh, they use uh, some kind of, of spin wing uh, yeah. vanes. Yes, yeah. uh, there are several uh, sure. brands. Sure. And Cynthia Nocilia, eyeing her string, knowing in her mind the distance, deep concentration. It and it's an, an 11. eleven. It's an eleven. My goodness, she's solid. She that is, is uh, amazing. And she's now the we definition have of solid on the And now we have Alessandro uh, Rigamonti. Is that is Alessandro that right? Rigamonti. Rigamonti? That's it. If very nice Italian guy. Very good. nice guy. And oi, 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 My God, that is impressive. That sort of uh, sets the stage. That is well impressive. Done. And he's a, an absolute newcomer in the Beobo field. Yes, he's not someone you've seen a lot before. No. Italy is absolutely also one of the strongest nations yes. in the world when it comes to Beobo archery. Uh, no doubt about it. And actually, he told me yesterday, I was shooting with him Monday, he told me he'd never had a coach. <laughs> Even more impressive. <laughs> Natural talent. Yes. yes. I wish I was like that. Yeah. Italy. Italy was first after the qualification round. And they were too strong in the semi-finals for Austria. Russia. And, and a bit of a shy person, but uh, but he's. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, I I haven't uh, had the chance to talk to him. Uh, he's. Uh, we have a tendency to stay within our own class, and that's yes. the people we know best. Although yes, we are not afraid to talk to other yeah, people. But, but you know. Yeah. I was I was not doing very well at the competition, so I'm I'm already out of the competition. So I have the chance to go around talking to people. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> that's and a big I, advantage. Well, I enjoy that. Yeah. I enjoy that. This is. Uh, but that's the thing about these uh, events. Uh, I mean, even if you're out of competition, you still uh, stay around and support sure. the rest of your team sure, and, sure, and sure. do whatever you yeah, can to help them. Of course. Of course. So it's an individual sport, but you do it as a team. Yeah, but you you get to know people because you you. Go around with uh, with uh, people from with archers from other yeah. countries. Uh, so we're now shooting the ibex yes. again, and uh, I, I think, think it's from Russia from here first, from here. Uh, oh. I would say that the this distance is a fair is distance. This is it's uh, a fair distance. What is that? Uh, we can't talk so loud that they can hear us, but I think it's. No. I would say 28 meters. Yes, something like that. Almost at almost uh, at maximum at for maximum the class. Distance, yeah. Now you can see this is very interesting. Uh, the sun is uh, falling now, and it's actually allowed for uh, team members to shade the face yes. of the archer shooting using wow. uh, that's a, high five. A, ma a maximum of an A4 page uh, paper. That yep. That's the size you can shade with, so yep. that's actually allowed. Yep. She shot a five. Yep. Uh, Julia Blanta shot a five. Yep. Yes. Now but Vitali it's is shooting. It's, it's, it's also because it's it's very difficult to shoot uh, sh to shoot without. Uh, if you have the sun in your eyes, you can yes. see the shade coming into his uh, his eyes there. If yeah. it well. And well it's a ten. Oh wow! Well it's, it's close, close to the eleven well ring. That that might be a subject to uh, judging. So the Italian team yeah. now Cynthia does the same, Cynthia? but. Um, a Cynthia is is uh, a, a left-handed archer, yes. so that yes. might be a bit more difficult to shade her. 
but uh, the Italian coach is doing her best. As she doesn't uh, know where to hold no, it. No, no. Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Ah, solid, solid, yeah. solid, solid. It's a solid ten. Time. Very good. So Alessandro just eyeing this, the the walk on his string. He's quite sure of the distance. Look at the style. Yeah, rather high elbow. Very high elbow. And it's an, an eight. 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 Four Italian. Yeah, he had a very high elbow. He had a very high elbow, but that's not necessarily wrong. We all uh, built a bit differently, so uh, some will shoot with a high elbow and some with a low elbow. But you will also see the difference when we come to compound, which generally have a much higher elbow, but their their hand is turned in a, a different way. So yes. Uh, that sort of dictates the high elbow. So, so uh, it's now Italy in the lead uh, with 40 uh, versus Russia's 33 points. Yeah, but they're uh, approaching target number three, which are the Cougars standing in the shade now, com completely in, in the shade. Uh, that is, at this point, going to be a very difficult target yes. to range. Yes. Um, it's a bit sad that you can't see the view from where we're sitting towards the uh, Cougars, yeah, but it's, it's, uh, a, it's, a, it's a fair <laughs> bit of a slope. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit there. of a slope, and yeah. it looks from here to kind of <laughs> the landscape sort of kind of <laughs> falls down <laughs> almost where the shade starts too. Yes. That's sort of. So oh, I would have a hard time. Uh, so they're shooting downwards and in the shade, standing in the light. Yeah, I would have a hard time uh, uh, guessing a distance correctly yes. there. I think, uh, actually, from at least from where I'm standing now. But uh, we have Fabio in the picture there cheering. Yeah. Of course, he's cheering for his teammates. It's a, it's a long so what do you, what do, you do when again. you're done with your match? You cheer for your own teammates. Yeah, look at that! It's a long distance shot again. It's a long. Oh my God! It's it's, uh, it's almost. I'd say more than 25. Yeah, it is. It is. It's 20. Well, I would say 28. Uh, the thing is, both uh, longbow, instinctive, and barebow are shooting um, at the same distance and often at the same courses. Yes. Uh, but the scores will also generally be lower for longbow, a bit higher for instinctive, and a bit higher for yes. for barebow, uh, due to the more advanced techniques and equipment used. Mm. And now, Julia an shoots an eight. That's solid for Russia. That that's good. I would be happy with that on that I range. I'm well. pretty sure about that. Since Yanosilia has a bit of a disadvantage when the sun coming down as a left handed shooter. Yeah. 11. And 11. 11 awesome Russia. shooting. My awesome goodness. shooting. Yeah, my goodness. 19.52. Sincia now shooting. I, I want to talk a little bit about Sincia's uh, shooting style here. I mean, we she is one of the best female bebo archers yes. in the world. Yes. But look at the way her hands sort of come into her face and she pauses before she gets to full draw. Yes. Closes her eyes, Close eyes takes yes. sort of a a sigh or like sort of calms her nerves. Look at that. So Close her eyes a little bit. Is she mentally then focuses, draws back and aims and oh as yeah. a ten. Yes. She has a very, very well, well unique... Well, she's doing something oh right. Yeah. It's, uh, that's obvious. She's absolutely doing something right. I, I mean, she's she's using that moment uh, where she comes into half anchor, or what she we call it. Oh. Before she comes really into anchor, she's closing her eyes, focusing, final touch uh, uh, applies, and, and she goes all the way through. Oh, that was a long hold for my That was a long hold, and it's an eight. I was a little... Uh, he, he, he I think like I he think he doubted. Shaking. I think his second second uh, guessed his own decision there yes. whether it was correct or not. Yes. So and that happens to all of us. I was thinking yeah. about the, the way that that she does uh, her her anchoring since yet that she closes her eye. Maybe 
Well, I was just thinking maybe it's a sort of a mentally seeing the arrow hitting the target before. Maybe something like yeah. that. We might have to go uh, ask her afterwards and, well, and get the secrets out of her. Yes, <laughs> yesterday, I actually asked her if if it was because she started her breakfast with a piece of cheesecake that she was so good, ah. and she was blushing like. A <laughs> okay, <laughs> the cheesecakes are indeed very good. They are yeah. very good. Yes. They're very good. Now Italy, before the final uh, target, Italy is in the lead with 58 points yes. uh, versus Russia's 52. Still open oh. for discussion. It is. Uh, it is. A miss would uh, change things completely. But um, it's we haven't seen anything pointing in the direction of misses from any of the teams. So no, no. So it'll be a bit exciting to see the distance they're going to shoot from now, because they had two long shots. Uh, and now this is going to be a much, much shorter. Yeah, that's close. This is uh. That's a close shot. Yeah, that's like uh, 14, 15 meters. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, and you would think that at that distance it would be a, an easy yeah. target. But again, as you said before, they're standing on the slope. They're standing in, in, in the shade. And they have the sun in the eyes. So it's... Um, yeah, they do. Yeah. Um, uh, but we it, it's not as easy as it looks. No, and the score no. zones on, on uh, that, that target are small. not that big. No. So, Julia... Drawing, shooting, yeah. and a that's ten. a ten. It's a good. It's good. And we have Vitali eyeing the target using his and binoculars. And really, Russia has to score uh, yes, ten or eleven to have yes, a chance. Yes, he knows uh, that. The probably the pressure is on his shoulders. The pressure is on his shoulders, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But um, like we said, they are world-class archers, all yes, of them. So yes. 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 Uh, they are really, really good archers. Cynthia eyeing the competition there. Yeah. And oh it's an 11. 11. 11. Wonderful, wow. wonderful last arrow from Thank Russia. Goodness. Congratulations oh for that my arrow. Goodness. So, Italy has to... Well, they can't just shoot safety. They have to perform yeah. uh, as well. There's 15 points difference now. So, uh, two eights and the gold is Italy's. Yes. Uh, five and a ten, and we will have a uh, shoot off. Yes. It would be fun to have a shoot off, though, but they probably don't want it. And, and it's a, a ten. ten. It's a ten. So that means uh, that Italy has it all in his. Yes, Alessandro. Uh, just Alessandro has, has it all in his hands now. It's it's a five. It's a hit to win. Yes. So. No, not five. He has an eight to win. Sorry. And, and it's an 11. 11. My goodness. What a way. What that a way to finish it off. fantastic yeah. shooting. That is really Italy something. takes the gold and Russia takes the silver. Wow. Congratulations. That's not that surprised about since they're winning, but Alessandro has Not surprisingly, a, a but I'm, I'm impressed fantastic. about the way the Russians have shot. I must admit uh, that. That's... Uh, that's serious shooting. It is. It is. And it's only six points dividing the yeah, gold and 79, silver. 73. We're sure. talking uh, eight arrows. We have an average for Italy on almost 10 points per arrow. My goodness. Yeah. That's, that's compound level. Uh, it's almost compound level yeah, when we is. are talking yeah. um, medal matches. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. That's fantastic shooting. Distinctive style from Cynthia with her one eye closed there. High elbow from Alessandro. Clean release. Uh, That's fantastic. It is. We are now waiting the medal ceremony yes. uh, for Bebo Mix Team. I knew that people were coming here with good arches, but it's another thing seeing it live, isn't it? I like have been I've been absolutely amazed about the um, the level. It's it's uh, my second international uh, championship, okay. uh, but I have been absolutely stunned by the level of shooting I've been seeing over the last sure. few days. Yeah, yeah. It's um, 
Yeah, it's, uh, the level you kind of thought that with uh, uh, with the yeah. pandemic oh, and the possible oh, lockdowns in many places, people yeah. haven't yes. been practicing. But no, no they've no, been practicing. No, 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 no. They haven't been holding out. Uh, definitely. <laughs> um, I'm very happy to see that the level uh, of shooting uh, has not declined in any way. No. Good archers are still good, and yes. they, are, they are practicing their shooting to, yes. to get better. And I would like to ask the medalist to come to the medal ceremony. So, we're going to be approaching the medal ceremony for Bebo Mixed Team. Please, medalist. And the medals will be presented by the VAE technical delegate, Mr. Michel Dumont. And we are waiting for the Russian team. I think the Russian team went down to the practice field. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think they should come back and get their medals. <laughs> yeah, they, they can go to the practice field afterwards. That's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, since she's, she's happy. Yeah. I think we have a... Uh, Hopefully we have some fast runner that can catch up to them. <laughs> yes. Ah. There's a delegate coming there. So. A bit of confusion seems to um, uh, be prevailing here. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The Russians um, they maybe didn't us. understand that there would be a uh, ah, the medal, medal ceremony yeah. directly after the shooting. So uh, they, they have, um, they've kind of gone back. Now, now are they are back. Ah, now are they are they back. Did. Or I someone from Russia, at I least. I thought they went for an ice cream, but uh, yeah, they're coming. Planter. And brilliant. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they are back now. Yes, you yeah. excellent. Vitaly Budjak, we the will approach. The medal 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 by Mr. Michael Duma, Royal Archery Technical Delegate. So, bronze medalists from Spain, Cassandra Capoteles, Cesar Villabringas. Silver medalists representing the Russian Federation, Yulia Blanta and Vitaly Budja. And of course, the gold medal winners representing Italy, Cynthia Nosilia and Re Alessandro Regamonti. And the bronze medals goes to Spain. Second place, silver medal, representing the Russian Federation. Silver medalists, Russia. Russia. Big cheers for Russia. They've been doing very well. They've been doing very well. They, they are, are not here with a big team, but no. um, uh, they brought a very good team. They did. First place, and gold medal. The gold European medal winners. Champions, representing Italy, Cynthia. Nozilia and Alessandro Italy, Cinzia Nozilia and Alessandro Rigamonti. Big cheers for Italy. They've been very, very good. They have uh, been showing some very, very strong shooting. Yes. Like we said, Cinzia is an absolute titan amongst the uh, Berbo women. And uh, um, Alessandro is uh, one of the upcoming guys. Yeah. And the national anthem of Italy, of course.
Big cheers for all six archers. They've been doing fantastic. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure to watch. It's been an absolute joy to watch those World matches. World-class bear boom Absolutely. archers. Yeah, that's amazing. Amazing. Yeah, that's the word. If that was me, I would also try to stay as long as possible yes. on the podium and enjoy the yes. moment. Yes, of course. <laughs> no of doubt course. about that. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Doing photo shoot on photo shoot. Yeah. <laughs> But everything comes to an end, and uh, we are now moving on to the final class today, which yes. is compound mixed team. Yeah. And uh, first up is the bronze medal match between Austria and Finland. Yeah. And uh, Austria is presented by Ingrid uh, Ronacher, who is uh, ranking fifth in the compound women's division. And Nico Vina, who is uh, actually leading the compound men's division. Yes. So strong, strong team. Yeah. Um, Finland is represented by Anne Laurila, who well, is uh, second yeah. in the compound well, women's well, decision, uh, and Pekka Loitukari, who is uh, ranking 11th in the compound men's division. So that should be a um, solid match. match. Interesting, Interesting match, definitely. Match. The Finns are not here with a very large team either. No, um, no are not compared to many other teams, no. but, but they are showing up with some good archers. <coughs> now it's going to be a little bit different because you will be seeing a red peg used instead of the blue peg. Uh, the compound division in the compound division you shoot between 5 and 45 meters so it's considerably longer you'll also see for those of you not familiar with archery it's a totally different bow uh, compound is more or less the anything allowed class yeah it's a very technical class it's a very technical class you will have a bow uh, a compound bow with um, uh, very very shortly yeah, and roughly explained wheels on the end and Ooh. several yeah. strings and cables yeah. running yeah. and that means yeah. that when you draw back the bow it will be very very heavy and until you come so to the end of your draw cycle yeah. where it will yeah. let off yeah. and you will only hold about 20 percent of yes. your uh, initial draw weight and the, and the let off is due to the rings or the wheels being concentric so yeah. that you yeah. get the let off on the yeah. also you'll see that the compound bows have long stabilizers uh, both forward and backwards and uh, they have a sight uh, often with um, a magnification of yes. uh, six to eight to ten times even yeah. and uh, you will see that the archers are shooting with a release it's actually kind of a trigger that you a device that you're holding in your so hand it's almost like shooting yeah a it's, a it's like a trigger device yeah. you're holding okay. hand. so it's a much more technical and now for uh, Austria shooting first it's uh, Nico Eight. And, and it's an eight, eight on the foxes. Yeah. And they are, they are a lot further away now, but probably not more than 17, 18 meters. No. It's a, of course, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a metal uh, f final, and uh, you can be uh. nervous, but, but an eight as a compound shooter is, well... Uh, he was hoping for more, I'm yes. sure about that. Ingrid shooting now. That's and that's a ten. ten. That's a ten. Yeah, that's a ten. Oh. Good. Pekka so shooting for Finland. We have Pekka for Finland, yeah. Very long stab on his, uh, his bow there. You can see he kind of hooks up to the string with his uh, release. Draws back. And that's, yeah, that's an, an 11. 11. That's an 11. <laughs> so he's, he's using what they call a peep. To, to look, uh, you can see uh, on, on, on top of uh, over the arrow here, there's sort of a bulge on the uh, yeah. string, and yeah. that's a peep sight. It's, yeah. it's a small either lens or hole uh, that she lines up with uh, the front side she has. Okay. He's not really succeeding in shading her, oh and she shoots an 11. Mm. As well. My goodness. Oh. So strong start for Finland, uh, and Finland in the lead 22 to 18. Yeah. That will 
well, if, if they keep on shooting like that, it would be very difficult for Austria to catch up with Finland, even though it's only four. Yeah, that's the thing about points. the compound division, that the margins are... That's not impossible, by no means. But you, you are... The compound division is an extremely precise uh, yes. division. The, the equipment they have allows you to shoot. I mean, I can't shoot as good as that with a rifle, honestly. No, 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 no. no. Uh, not freehand, anyway. <coughs> So, uh, um, it's very precise equipment, but on the longer ranges particularly, you uh, have to closer. sort of get the distance more or less on the meter yes. to get the arrow within the 11 ring. Sure. Uh, but we're going to see a lot more 10s and 11s than we did in the other classes, despite I'm the fact sure, that yeah. they're shooting at longer ranges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually when we shoot these kind of events, well, nationally, we will, as Bebo archers or instinctive archers, walk around in the same patrol as these compound shooters. Yeah. And they will al always be shooting first, and then <coughs> we sort of have their arrows to, uh, to shoot against. Yeah, you do not want to uh, kind of on short ranges uh, put your arrows in the no. center uh, 11 of a target and then have a compound archer coming no. in after you. No. That's no. not desirable no. because your arrows will be crushed. Yes, that's true. Uh, that's, well, popularly speaking, they do a Robin Hood. Yeah, that's a Robin Hood, Where yeah. you hit the opponent's... Nico uh, drawing for Austria yeah. now. <coughs> Excuse me. I do not have the coronavirus, but I do have something in my throat. Sure. Oh. And oh, it's an 11. an 11. That's an 11 on the Ibex. That's what what distance is the Ibex at? There, I think I would say he's not that far away, but he's probably 30, 35. 30, yeah, uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. That's by no means an impossible task for the compounders no. to to no. put an eleven no. there. No. So Ingrid, shooting. And ah, she's taking it down again. Ah, so she needed shooting. Ah, she needed. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. That can be somewhat of. Uh, a disadvantage that you need to take down your your arrow and, and start all over. In your yeah, process. depending on how much time she has left. But and oh she shoots yeah. a ten. She shoots a ten. That's oh. magnificent. Uh, we from where we are sitting, we cannot see how much time there's left, and we no. uh, could really. Uh, but the, the judge will hold up a yellow card when there's thirty seconds left, yeah. and. But, uh, but is the compound shooters? Do they also only have ninety seconds? Yes, the same that? time range. Okay. Pekka shooting for Finland. Finland. And he's shooting and 11. 11. 11. My god, he's solid. And Anna is... She's uh, just adjusting her sights or what? I did not notice. Did she adjust? Uh, she, was, she was just adjusting something on, um, on the sight. Yeah. She's probably adjusting for distance then. Trying to shade with the cast, but, yeah, but, but, but just but can't get it. Ah, oh, he may, might have gotten the angle right there. Okay. But... That's also because Pekka can tell her what he shot the distance as. Yes, right. and it's a 10. That's but, yes, that's right. Within the team, you're talking about the distance. Sure. Uh, and, and also, the coach walking along can be in that discussion, I believe. Sure. Um, but um, um, that's the difference between a an individual event. Um, although you have your coach there, there's rarely time to... No. to talk about no. uh, distance, but in team events you can talk about it. Yep. However, that means that Finland uh, remains in the lead with 43 uh, against Prost Austria's yeah. 39. Yes, and the next target of course is the Cougars, and it is a fair distance to the target from the red peg. It's the... <coughs> wow. Yeah, it's um, That's a fair target, <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> Like we said, it's a tricky target to gauge the distance on. Uh, it's it's more than thirty. Swedish team is on the screen now. Yeah, waving. Hey, Sverige. We haven't talked about the church that we are actually. It's an old, um, not in use right now church uh, yep. that we have a very very beautiful location. Um, we might get it on the screen in a few seconds. But yep. right now, the teams are preparing to shoot the Cougars. <laughs> And from 
at this target we can see the time the time has started so Austria will shoot first it's a long shot but again it's compound they can do this a fair bit better than, uh, the, than, the than us. Long ranges is not really a problem for compound. No. It's it's just guessing the distance. <laughs> oh, he it's shoots a 10. 10. Oh, it's, it's, a a 10. Um, it's a good shot. I'm not sure he's happy about it because no. I know compounders. They want Are to get they, the 11 ring yeah, all the they're time. They're always satisfied when it's 11. So that's yeah. true. Ingrid preparing for her shot. Taking a deep breath. He's doing a good job with uh, with the paper then. You can see she closes her one eye and now she opens it again. And it's uh, yes. ten. ten. Oh. Good shooting. So Pekka. Pekka for Finland. The judge is uh, kind of uh, telling the teammate to stay back just a little bit. Sure. Teammate only has to stay back about one meter behind uh, the shooting archer. Uh, it's a ten. It's a ten. Is that because she can get uh, faster to towards the pack, so they 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 have no time delay? Mm, yes, that's true. Since since time is a uh, is limited to ninety seconds, uh, she's you she's don't want to waste time. She adjusted her sight there, uh, adjusted for distance. Yeah, and again, Peck had told or the judge told. Uh, sorry, they're the talking coach. about the distance sure. uh, in between the team. A long hole. That's a really long. And hole. she's taking it down. That's probably a clever decision. Yeah, she was. Uh, she was also talking to the coach. Yeah. Uh, you could see that uh, she wanted probably him to have uh, to lower the paper so that. She it, it's it's a strong move to do when you're under yes, time pressure. Yes, it is it's because very strong she's move. she's really under pressure, right? Yeah, but she does not want to shoot a bad arrow, and that's good. However, now she a doesn't. Long hold now again. she doesn't have a choice. She has to shoot. That's and it's an 11. Wow, that's yeah. solid. That is, uh, that's, my that's goodness. hats off. My no goodness. doubt about it, hats yeah. off. First taking down and taking up again, and wow, wow, And, wow, and wow. probably Ooh. approaching the time limit. Ooh. I did not yes. see whether no, the judge had no, the yellow really card up, but I'm pretty no, sure she had the yellow oh. card up. Yeah. So what does it mean with the yellow card? Is that a warning? The yellow card, it's not really a warning. It's a, a signal that the... Uh, 30 seconds are remaining and the okay. judge will probably hold up the yellow card and also verbally say 30 seconds. She will also ask the teams before do you want any further um, oh, okay. uh, any, any further notification. Do you want to know there are 10 seconds left and 5 yeah, seconds yeah, yeah, left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some teams will say yes, some teams will sure, say no. Sure, sure. Uh, one other thing is that um, we're talking about the one teammate not shooting has to stay one meter behind. Yes. Once they switch places, because the first archer has shot his arrow, yep. the other archer approaches the line and cannot pull out the arrow out of the quiver before on the line. You okay. cannot you cannot pull out the arrow. Okay. So uh, uh, that's um, so weird. There, are, there. Are if if judge catches a uh, team member pulling out the arrow out of the quiver mm. before he or she is on the line mm. she can order them to put it back go back one meter and go forward again okay so, but it, it you're not getting disqualified or anything okay. like that but okay. uh, but, but your time is running your time is running yeah so Who's shooting first? It looks like uh, it's... Uh, Finland is still in the lead with 64 uh, against 59. Yes, Austria is sh uh, shooting first. And of course it's the Coyotes. It's the uh, Coyotes and it's... It's uh, a long shot. Uh, I well would say 25 meters. For me it would be a long shot. <laughs> I would say 25, 25 meters probably. Yes. 24 maybe. Yeah. Nico shooting for Austria. Steady bow hand there. 11. And 11. Yes. yes. Good. Good. Ingrid Ronaka shooting her final arrow. Using uh, the top of the bow as a rest for... They uh, always for do that. They Compound always do that because it's comfortable for yes. the compounders. Closing one eye. That's, that's a focused face. Yeah, it is. Eleven. 
Oh, oh, awesome oh, shooting. Really solid putting a little bit of pressure on Finland, which they had to do because they were um, they were lying under. So it's uh, now uh, it now differs um, six, uh, seventeen points. Yeah. Pekka oh. shooting for Finland. Yeah. So they have. They, to have they sh Finland should be able to pull to this uh, home. Uh, and that's uh, a, it's a ten, ten yeah. bordering. Ten eleven. I think it's an eleven. It's an eleven. Yeah. Uh, they're calling it 10 now, but that's uh, it might be upgraded to an 11. Yeah. Uh, it's an, uh, they yeah. And Anne uh, shooting her final arrow for Finland for the Bronx. It's a long hold again. And she's taking, she's it, down taking again. it down again. She's uh, adjusting, adjusting her. She was. Uh, she was done. She second guessed her sight setting. Time That's definitely that. a sign of, an, of a really strong mind. Oh, and it's, it's a, a ten. ten. And it's a win for Finland. Wow, she's cold. Yeah, that was that was strong shooting. I mean, I'm very very impressed with Anne's. Uh, Ability to take down the bow yes, there. Yes, um, twice, twice taking it down. And you know, when you're in that position and, and you're uh, under pressure, the body really, really wants nothing but get rid of that no, arrow. It no, wants to shoot no. that arrow and just get Not rid sure. of it. It doesn't care about position. It's no, no wonder she's uh, she's up there and with and the best and in the league. Yeah. yeah, and she is fighting against that. And uh, this, I, uh, and she's telling us, I can't shoot a good shot here. Okay, she's realizing that. She's taking the arrow down, yep. starting over again. That's yep. the right thing to do in that situation. It is, it is, it is. If you cannot fight through it, then take it down, start over again. Yeah, well, it's, it's the sign of a good archer that, that you have, that, the, that you're able to, 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 to well, not not be completely destroyed by the pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's uh, I, I'm impressed, honestly. Um, so, so now we are the it, uh, final match for the day is uh, the gold medal match in compound mix team, and it is between Irene Francini uh, from Italy and Jesse Francini. Francini. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Irene Francini from Italy and Jesse Sut from Italy. And and this I can pronounce, I know that. <laughs> from Sweden we have uh, Mikael Andele and Ida Carlson. Yeah, of course your compatriots in arms there from Sweden. That, that is, will be um, it is also going to be a good match, I think. <laughs> uh, Irene Francini is uh, leading the compound women's division yep. in um, after the qualification rounds. And Jesse is second He's in second, the compound yeah. men. So yes. if that's not a strong team, I don't Ooh. know what is. Yeah. Uh, Sweden, on the other hand, is uh, having Mikkel Andele uh, in the number three slot for compound men. And Ida Carlson also in the number three slot for compound women. Yeah. So we we were very sorry for uh, the pronunciation. We of the we of are the name. our humblest apologies to the Italian nation and team. We of uh, hope her that name we is we realize that this may be the last time we will ever be able to be uh, commentating on uh, an event yes. like this. <laughs> but um, <laughs> we promise to take Italian lessons uh, before next time. <laughs> now. This is going to be, at least for me, a very interesting match. So, Italy against Sweden. Italy, very interesting. and this is the only mixed team event that uh, Sweden has qualified for. Okay. Now, um, I can't honestly say a lot about the Italian archers because I'm not very familiar with them due to my... It's not, it's not my class. No. Um, I cannot. I can say something about the Ita uh, Swedish archers, though. Uh, Mikkel Andele has been shooting very, very constantly this year at okay. a very high level. He's so been shooting. We just heard in our, you know, uh, speakers uh, here that uh, Frankini is actually a former Olympic archer, a former Olympic uh, recurve archer. That's very interesting. Yeah, and she went to the Olympics as well. 
And after that, she actually became world champion with compound bow. That, that is indeed uh, that's quite unique. Some, that's, that's something unique. of a story. Yeah. That's yeah. true. That's that's a story. Mikkel Andle going forward to shoot the first arrow for Sweden yeah. as the lower ranking team. Uh, the Foxes again. My goodness, that's the size like of I the said, Viking, isn't it? Mikkel has been, he's a strong guy and yeah. he's been solid and very, very stable this year. He uh, has remained at a very high level in all qualifications in Sweden. You, you can see the ladder of, uh, of, the, uh, of the compound. Yeah, oh, yeah. It, it's sort of, well, you can see where it stops when, uh, when the ladder starts, yeah? And it's an 11. Oh strong shooting. Goodness, it's strong. So Here comes Ida. The, Ida the poundage of a bow like the one... The poundage the is limited uh, for compound to 60 pounds. Uh, they cannot be over 60 pounds. Oh. Now Ida's shooting. Yep. Ida is uh, a new up-and-coming talent. This is her first international world archery championship event. Uh, yes, she's uh, quite young, right? She is uh, quite yes, young. She shoots an eight. an 8. It's good. She shoots an 8. Um, she's an absolutely up-and-coming uh, uh, shooter for, for Sweden. Yeah. Now for Italy. Jesse Sut. Jesse Sut. You can see how he's sort of gently now touching the trigger with his thumb. Yeah. And it's an 11. Yeah. Strong shooting. My goodness. And, and Irene Francini. Yeah. Hope that was better. Uh, Adjusting her sight yes. for the for the chosen distance. You can see the the green things on her limbs is limb dampeners. It's a limb dampener to dampen vibrations in yes. the in the bow. Uh, like I said, compound is not my speciality, but no, I. You catch up bits here and there. Oh, she's Boy, shaking she's a bit. Shaking. Now. That's a good she's choice. A good choice. That was a good choice. Yeah. He started to shake uh, violently in her in her bow arm. It's a good choice taking it down. Yes, it is. Oh, she's getting it again. Oy no, oy no. Oy oy oy. I don't think she can take it down now, but she oh, shot she an shot eight. An eight. Yeah. Wow. She's really shaking with that arm. Whoa. Yeah, that was that was surprising. Um, I hope she. Yeah, ho no hope no for her business. sake that she really gets that uh, back under control. It, ca yes. it could be nerves. It could be fatigue. Um, difficult yeah. to tell. Yeah. I experienced a similar thing during the first qualification stay on target four or five. Uh, suddenly, my sh legs started shaking violently. Um, okay. Never been there before, but. No. I mean, under pressure, something uh, something happens to <laughs> your body. Of so. course, with the bow arm, you can have a bit of shaking in the bow arm. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, oh when we talk about bow arm, it's the arm that you hold the bow with. Yeah. yeah. And for a right-handed archer, you will hold the bow in your left hand. Yeah, yeah. it's, um, well, the logic is might be hard to explain, <laughs> but uh, that's the way it is. A yes. right-handed archer holds the string with his right hand and the bow with his left hand, I or her. I blame Robin Hood. Yeah. So after the first target, we are tied at 19 points for Italy and 19 points for Sweden. Yeah, that's good shooting. But like we said, these are all top tires in uh, in this event, so uh, yeah. uh, we expect to see good shooting. Sure. Sweden shooting first again as the lowest ranking team. Yeah. Mikel Andele approaching the peg. Mm. Focused. Knocking the arrow and uh, he's now hooking up the loop to his uh, release. There are different kinds of releases. There are different kinds well. of releases. You have some that are triggered by your thumb, uh, some that are triggered by your index finger, and some that are so called hinge releases that are triggered by your back tension. Okay. That's a 10. That's a 10. That's so a, it's a long shot. That's, I think it's it probably 40 meters or something. Yes, like it's that. probably very mm. close to 40 meters. Either now approaching. And we have um, our Swedish coach uh, come up trying to shade her face a little. Yeah. Uh, seems he's doing a pretty good job. 
Oh, her, her own cap is changing. So her release is a thumb release. Her release is thumb release, and it's uh, uh, an 11. Uh, it's an good 11. shot. Yeah. Good shooting. Oh my goodness, 11. Jesse, Jesse Sut coming up shooting for oh, Italy. They've done the ask, asterisk. So it's sure. an asterisk, so. Yeah. But I, I believe that will be upgraded to an 11. Yeah. We'll have to see about yeah. that. Yeah. Jesse Sut shooting for Italy on the Ibex. And uh, shading is done by the Italian coach. Oh, he was. Oh. What's happening there? He's doubting what happens. I think. Uh, I think can't get the, the shading shade. right. Yeah, yeah. Still well can't get the shading better. right. He's trying that's to let down. Better. So he's just uh, turning his cap. He's adjusting his cap. Yes. Oh, that's better. That's better. It can be very difficult. Uh, it looks like an easy job to do, shading an archer's face, but it's not actually. It can be tricky until you find the spot. Why? Mm. That that, he, he just, that was not good. He, no, he just sort of lost the got out of the shading yeah. a little bit right before the shot broke. Yeah. An eight for Italy. An eight for Italy. The, I'm sure he's not happy with that. Elian Flancini shooting. Yeah. Former recurve archer. Good shading there, but she's shaking again. Oh my goodness, my goodness. her arm—it's a—it's a long, sh uh, long hold as well. And she broke yeah. the shot. It's an eight. Ooh. Ooh. I am. Um, I'm not sure what's happening. No, I'm not. I'm not sure what's happening there either. Actually, uh, I really feel a little bit pity for Italy because that's yes. that's not. Um, as a beer boat archer, I've been I've been having that kind of trouble when I was not drinking much. When yeah, I was yeah. Not drinking to water. Uh, enough mm, water. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, not beer. beer but like we talked about before, these are all world class archers, and and um, maybe especially the Italians are absolutely top tires. Yes. Uh, Nico's leading his class. And yeah, well, some of them actually. And Irene is also leading her class. So some, some of them are close to being professionals, right? They're living from. Yeah, yeah. yeah. not the Swedish teams. Though. We, uh, the Swedish teams are absolutely. No, the Danish teams. Are yeah. So the total is now 40 to Sweden versus Italy's 35. Yes. Um, maybe a little bit surprising, the but the Swedish are teams are certainly happy about it. Yes. <laughs> So now it's it's easy to shoot first because they're the low ranking team. Italy now, yeah, your shooting order now changes because Italy is the lowest ranking team now. Yeah. And they're shooting the Ibe uh, no, they're shooting the Cougar. They're I shooting the Cougar now. My goodness, that's a long shot. It hmm. is a long shot. I'm gonna it say is maximum distance. Ah, uh, not not quite. I'm gonna say forty. 42, something like that, but it's it's close to maximum. So the time has started for Italy. Jesse suit, yeah. shooting first. And the coach is doing a good job there. I'm still thinking about uh, Irene's uh, yeah. bow arm there. Um, there are a little bit different styles, especially in compound, whether you have a straight bow arm or you have a slightly bent bow arm. And okay, so if you have a bent bow arm, it's yeah. more difficult to Yes, but to you, on the other arm. hand, have to to use more muscle to um, to keep the bow in yes. the same place. Yes. Uh, whether if you have a straight bow arm, you're sort of using bone to bone yes, structures. Yes, you're, you're locked in place. However, uh, you can see that both Irene and Jesse are shooting the straight bow arm um, and uh, locking their arm in place more or less. Oi, again, uh, her bow is, arm is uh, shaking. She's shaking bad. Get it in order, girl. Yeah, shoot it. I think she decides to fight through it now, dear. But it's a long hold. Ooh, it's a long hold. I wouldn't do that. Oh, she did. Ah, oh, she shot a 10. Uh, and it's a 10. It's a 10. It's Good a for very, her. very, Good very for long her. hold. And yeah, she's struggling. Yeah. Um, but, um... I mean, I'm not quite sure that she knows what is going, uh, what's happening, because they're discussing in... Uh, Prob probably not. Team, and yeah. I, I am probably not sure what to do about it. Now, no. Mikel Andale shooting for Sweden. He's a on the Cougar. Solid looking guy. And solid yeah. shooting it's a ten. as well. Mm. It's a ten. Yeah. Now, like I said, Mikel has been the definition of stable this year. Yeah. yeah. And the female. And Ida. Ida, she's approaching the peg very, very quickly to have enough time to shoot. 
And she has 47 seconds, so that's a lot of time. And, she and it's a 10. 10 as well. It's good. Four it's a 10. So Sweden, after three targets, is in the lead with 60 to 55. And I can tell you the Swedish, Norwegian and probably Finnish teams are uh, cheering loudly on, in the crowd. So they're approaching the last target, which are the cougars? No, no, sorry, the, the jackals or the coyotes? The coyotes. Yeah. And we don't know the distance yet because they haven't put up pegs yet. Yes. Swedish team on Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly <laughs> experiencing the joy of being on television. Yes, they're having a good time. Yeah. Dancing in the crowd. <laughs> I think we have uh, our Nordic uh, neighbors in there too. Yes, it seems like the Norwegians are Norwegian there. and Finni Finnish team on the right. I think the dates are probably in the swimming pool. Now approaching the last peg. And we yes. have to get back to the country. The last target for today. Uh, it's, um, in the last match of the day. It's probably 25... So Sweden is in the lead with 60 meters. to 55 for Italy, which means Italy shoots first. Uh, it's not impossible to take this in, but it, it's going to take yeah. everything but from Italy. Everything Italy has. For a compound archer, this distance is not very far. You you expect compound archers to shoot sure. 10s or 11s. It's about 22, 23 meters. Yeah. And yeah. he shoots an 11. Strong it's shooting. 11. Very strong shooting from Jesse. So Irene she's asking up. the coach uh, the distance. Um, and he's, well, I don't know what he said, but she's adjusting her, her sights. Let's see I what, hope she gets her, what her happens her with her bow arm. She can keep yeah. her arm in control. Ah, it's much better. Well, uh, again, we don't know. Maybe it's, this is normal for her, but this looks... Oi. Now it comes to shakes. Ah, oh she shoots. Oh oh uh, oh 10 might be upgraded to an 11. Yes, it's very It's close. good. It's, um, it's a solid, close... Solid two arrows yes. from Italy. Yes. Really good. Yes. And especially and given the circumstances. Yes. I mean, I, I'm impressed that she's pulling through and fighting yes. through that. Yes, especially because she's been shaking like that. Yeah. And she can uh, shoot the last Make arrow. Michelangelo is shooting. Uh, that's 11. Good. That's good shooting. That's very good shooting. So that means a 8, eight. from Ida. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. To win. Yes. Deep concentration. She's using her binoculars. Now she's sure. And multiple Ida's on screen right now. Yes. You can see her bow arm is slightly bent. Uh, so yeah, I can see that. Yeah. And it's an 11. Wow. And a victory for Sweden. Congratulations, Sweden takes the Brian, for your teammates there. I'm, That's amazing. I'm really happy for those two guys. Because like I said, um, Ida on her first international championship. That's gains a gold medal. Ah, that's amazing. And uh, not even gotten into the individual yeah. matches yet. No, no, she can, she can uh, yeah. have a gold medal as, uh, as well as individual. That's but really impressive. Michael is an old timer. She was second uh, tire in, in uh, the qualification. Uh, third tire in uh, in in uh, the women's compound yeah. division, and Michael uh, is a third no tire in the men's money. compound division. Okay, so we need to. Uh, give out some medals and then it's uh, it's over for us this afternoon we have a medal ceremony yeah. for the compound mix team uh, to go while we are enjoying yeah, a picture and of Ida shooting her last yeah, arrows here good, the first arrows good it's a style study yeah it is like you can see Mikkel is a, is a big strong guy and um, he looks as stable as he is, or he is as stable as he looks. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, because he's really rock steady. He uh, is rock steady. But I, um, you, you cannot help sitting here and feeling sorry for no, 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 uh, Irene uh, struggling with her arm. I think it's impressive of her fighting through it that way, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's, I, agree. Um, I agree. It's strong done. It is. So good job, Italy. Yeah. 
So, we had a beautiful day again. Yes, sunny Slovenia, right? We have an absolutely beautiful yeah, day today. It's the it's sun is shining down yeah, on the top like, of the mountain. It's like t sunny weather in, 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 uh, in Denmark when it's summer. Um, temperatures are around 20 degrees, so it's... Uh, Something like that, yes. Fantastic. And uh, just a slight breeze. It's yeah. What more can you wish for, actually? <laughs> You're at a beautiful place with beautiful people having fun. Yeah. And coming to this, with a sad moment, we will now ask the medalists to come forward for the medal ceremony of the compound division. So we're uh, just waiting for the medal ceremony. We're just waiting for the medal ceremony. The... Uh, well, the medals will be presented by a local man, the director of a Bohorje village resort, Mr. Vasha Ilicic. Um, yeah. That's great. Please, medalist. Why don't you want to have your medal? We can also have a cup of tea or maybe something stronger, but please come to the medal ceremony. They went for ice cream again. I don't think they went for ice cream, but they might go for ice cream afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and I might so join them, actually. The arch is uh, approaching the, the podium. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going for the victory ceremony for the compound. Next you see for the last time today the beautiful church in the background. Yes. This is going to be the final field as, uh, the, as far as I understand, at least for the uh, rest of the competitions too. Okay. Uh, uh, it's going to be around here. Uh, we have tomorrow we will have uh, some team matches. Yeah. And... Uh, Sorry, Friday will go on with individual eliminations. Yes. And Saturday will be individual semi-finals and finals and uh, bronze okay, matches. So, representing Finland, Anne Laureva and Pekka Loitukari. Bronze medal winners. Well deserved. Silver medal representing Italy. Silver medal, Italy. Elaine Franchini and Jesse Sut. And I'm gonna take the next one. Yes. Sorry. Do that. Gold representing gold Sweden gold for gold medal. Ida Carlson and Mikael Andele. Ah, fantastic. Big cheers for Sweden. Big cheers for Sweden. And while we've been talking a lot about experience tightness today, we've also seen some uh, newcomers. Yes. Uh, Very that's absolutely amazing, I think. A girl like Ida being in the first championship, now the national anthem of Sweden. Cheers to Sweden and the photo shoots, of course, mm, very well deserved. Very well deserved indeed. That was a good match. It was. Testing is for people who do not have corona yet or are vaccinated. If you are not vaccinated or... <laughs> the Finnish team is asking the Swedish team to cheer. And uh, yeah. the rest of uh, the Swedish team is yeah. absolutely yeah. joyous about this. At 7.45 tomorrow, the practice field is open. Can we go down? Ask yeah, yeah, they want to get out of there. And with this, uh, I think maybe our job is over too. I think so too. Uh, uh, it's been a pleasure doing this. First time for me uh, commenting on anything at all. 
Uh, so it's, it's fun. Same, the same thing for I can me. do it again if the Italians will let me in uh, after mispronouncing sure. names. Sure, sure. It's, it's been a pleasure and a first time for me as well, but now I can go home and tell my pupils that I'm a YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you everyone and uh, thank you and goodbye from uh, Pohorja, Maribor, Slovenia. The 3D European Championships uh, will uh, be back um, Friday we'll be for back Friday. the next events. Thank you. Thank you.